Fuck it, I'm going straight for the goddamn booty hole. It's over. Whoa, what the fuck? Put some pepper jam in, they ain't ready for it. <laughs> Told you, man, this weed right here, though. Mm -hmm. This is the weed that you need when you want to smoke weed. <laughs> higher than the price of a gallon of gas. What is this? this weed what? right here have you higher than a giraffe's ass. <laughs> I bullshit you not. I believe you, I gotta leave that alone. This is some of that weed that make you sell y'all hot. It make the temp go up. You be high as fuck. High as fuck? You gotta smoke some of this if you wanna try to just get high as us. High as fuck? But we don't do no other stuff, just this. Okay. Just this? <laughs> might take a drink, might have to take a piss. <laughs> take a piss. But if there ain't no weed, we don't want that shit. Don't want that we shit. We in the trap, we get higher than a bitch. Shit, now, I've been smoking weed as long as I can remember. I rolled up a blunt. Roll up blunt. Then I might just save it and smoke in December. You don't know about that shit. I'm smoking weed too. Jay Owen found his Casio keyboard, nigga. Mm. Hit him with some more of that shit, Jay Owen. Yeah. <laughs> Real petty. That shit's so funny, huh? That's what you should try. You should put a little blunt. shake on the blunt. Why are you crying? Right? <laughs> yeah, let me see what this is. Put that shit away. Let me see what this is. Put that shit this away. How am I supposed to be pulling out? Oh. How far am I from the crib? I'm high as fuck. Don't tell me. Are this. we recording? It's a yeah, surprise. Because yeah. we're recording yeah. already. We're recording already. All right. Shake. Shake. Rattle and roll. What's been going Can't on with y'all? that shit. Shit, we just been grinding here. Yeah, for sure. Working. You know, putting in that work that niggas are that afraid doing, to put in. Doing interviews and shit. Yeah. yeah. Just did some crazy shit with Kodak Black. Yeah. Uh, who else had NLE Chopper, mm -hmm. Queen yes. Naja. Putting on for the culture shit. We the first, uh, the first motherfucking uh, podcast. podcast to get picked up by our heart. There you go. go. Let's go. Let's shit. go. Shit. You talk about, you know, we just we just left Black History Month for shit. You really when you talk about black history in London, you gotta mention the homies. Not to be, not to be, you know, bragging and no shit like that. You gotta mention no, the homies. No, That's exactly what this black woman is. You know, cause right. shit. Well, you gotta bread. Yeah, cause you gonna talk on here and talk yeah. your shit. That's what well, this is for. This is for us, yeah. Get off the top of your shit! God damn! Man, you gotta talk your shit. But hell yeah, nah, man, shit, cause. I'm from here, allegedly. 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 What part? Oh, man. He's, not, he's not from here, allegedly. Uh -oh. Nigga, I'm from College Park. You're from oh, College Park. Oh, shit. I'm from College Park. You, you're from College Park. All right, so start this. College Park, East Point. That's not Atlanta, right? Let's start this. So, but you, what, what the fuck are you from? Oh, OK. I'm not from Atlanta. All right, so shut the fuck up. You're not part of that conversation. You're right. Yeah. Oh, shit. You let them talk to you like this? From, hmm? You let them talk to you like this? Yeah. Y'all stay hard. Nah, she be worse. She worse on me. I know, she be on your ass. But yeah. you deserve it, though. So what the hot, hot deserve it? Because you man. Shit. You be on it. Why, because I'm dark Because you controversial. I'm not controversial. I just say what the fuck I want to say. And that's not, controversial. And I stand on that shit. That's the controversy. Mm -hmm. It's not, man, everybody should be, everybody should say what the fuck they want to say. They should, though. You think so? Yes, I absolutely believe that. I but you got to be able to stand on that shit. Nigga don't want to stand on what the fuck they say. Right. Like, if I, if I say a uh, motherfucker whack, like a, a major rapper whack. Why would you say that though? Because they, they might be to me. But shit, uh -huh. do my opinion matter? It should, it do it matter that much to you? Why are you yelling? You created a platform <laughs> where your opinion does matter. Yeah. yeah, so I can say whatever, you can whatever sway I want. You the opinion of people. Kodak talking all that shit right now, but his ass get on air and his I'll ass be... I'll be blocked by... Cause his I, ass be saying shit over here, but then when that mic come on, he be saying something totally different. I be calling your ass out on it. I'm tired of it. You talking about what? On the podcast or the radio? The radio. The radio different. Yeah, you gotta... Yeah, you gotta... You can't say See, everything. We got SCC. Yeah, we got guidelines. The way this shit, the internet set up, they're gonna find the clip and be like, that nigga garbage. And he gonna be right there and he be like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, bro. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, nah, I deleted everything that, that niggas will pull up on me. You know, rap, rappers are sensitive people. Yeah, they Rappers are sensitive We're people. We're just musicians, Definitely. period. Everybody I feel like sensitive. artists as well, because Russell, Russell Westbrook don't want to be called West Brick. Y'all seen that shit? Yeah, Well, that's not mad. his name. Yeah, he got man. kids and shit. Somebody father. 
Yeah, he played his case. I don't agree with that. Mm, I mean, shit talking is shit talking. Like, yeah, no. You might call somebody out their name. I call him his name all the time. Yeah, she called me a fat titty nigga all the time. You be looking at his titties. Can you not see him through this shirt? I'm trying not That's to. That's why look. I wore a hoodie today, my nigga. Damn, why you bringing attention to the shit that niggas ain't even looking at? <laughs> You, you we got a know. different audience, bro. There's some freaky ass women who gonna be watching them shit. Like, I sure was looking. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I love sucking them tits. Exactly. Bitch, do not suck on my tits. Don't hate that shit. We got Bitches do try it too. Don't, don't try it. Come don't, up now. Don't try to do that shit. I feel <laughs> exposed. You horny ass nigga. Get away from me. How they do that? No, nah, I don't have motherfuckers to suck my titties before. That shit was uncomfortable. Wait. You done, That's what? how you just gonna jump out the window? <laughs> Bitch, suck my titties like. I, don't, I, ain't, I ain't even asked for that shit. Like, <laughs> why would you feel that comfortable? You made saying, her that like, comfortable. Did she pick it yeah. up and squeeze it and put it in her mouth? Or what she she cupped it. No, I was like, did was she cup, cup it? No, nah, she, she was. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Did she, yeah, like. Yeah, she. So she, she grabbed it. Who's cuddling this shit and got there? Next thing I know, I feel like little tiny teeth on my shit. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What made you think this shit was okay? Well, well. <laughs> Sucking a nigga nipples or licking his nipples is different than like just actually grabbing the titty and like. Nigga, it's the same shit. It really is. Shit. You you suckling on the nigga's boob. Okay. Niggas ain't supposed to have boobs, but. Hey man. No, but I'm saying like y'all ain't never had a girl lick your nipples. Yeah. Right. It's the same thing. Yeah, but thing it does nothing effect. for me. Yeah, like that shit for her. She oh, gnashes yeah, it. Yeah, that shit don't do shit. Oh. If, if we. Ain't... Well, I beg to differ. You be sucking titties? No. The fuck. Well. Well, you know, what do you be doing, Jojo? Don't don't answer that. Don't answer that. Yeah, I don't. I mean, we don't you discuss don't those types that. of freaky ass things on here, not unless it's me doing it. Welcome back to the '85 South Show. Yeah. Well, you we all the way goddamn back. Yeah, this is shit that you be doing. Let's go. We ain't back, goddamn it. Back in this I'm old school man. freak. I beat and licked the bitch kneecap. Kneecap. There we go. Just to see. Elbow. See, that's the trick of being a nigga. You gotta find somewhere that ain't been bit before. Fuck it. I'm going straight for the goddamn Buddha hole. It's over. Whoa, what the fuck? I'm going, I'm going straight oh, for the Buddha hole. Damn. Yeah, that's what he typed on me on. Okay. Damn. Kodak. All right. I just realized, you know, the older you that's get, like, that's gonna be your opening line. Like when it this depend, shit come on. It depends on what I'm doing. It the first on. shit you gonna say, <laughs> Buddha hole, is that. I eat ass. Nah, I'm joking. Nah, it depends on what I'm there for. Like, if I'm there for a good time, shit, I'm finna please me. Well, I'm saying though, like, if you eat ass, like, you just just do that. Like, be proud of it. I'm man. I'm proud, very no, proud no, of the I fact know, I, I eat ass. I'm just wow. you guys. Smug me with them cheeks, baby. What? Okay, yeah, no, I'm not. You know, I don't think they. Uh, no. That's not sanitary. Nah. <laughs> That's not even good for like. Mm -mm. Your health care and your deductible. <laughs> I got good health care now. And your dental bill is going to be crazy. I don't got them. Deductible is going to go up. I, I, I just get more gold teeth. No, the, that the ain't more ass work. I eat. That ain't going to work. Well, I mean, that ain't going to sustain. Like <laughs> 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 it's not sustain. It's a clean ass. Yeah, you got to make, you got to eat a fresh ass. ass how, clean, how clean can the ass be? I mean. He can be pretty clean. I'm speaking from experience. He can be pretty, <laughs> pretty clean. You can't eat no all day ass. She be eating, sitting at, sitting at the office. Okay. Fresh out of the shower ass. Fresh out the gym ass. No, that's, no, that's tragic. <laughs> Bitch been doing squats the last 45 minutes. You trying to eat ass. Mm -hmm. Nah, not at all. Damn. He's a part of that though. But he, he always say that. You could, you I'm not ashamed like, of that yeah. shit. You can't shame me for what I like to do because that shit make me feel good. Yeah, he like that shit. I mean, everybody got their different, you know, kinks and, and shit like that they like, and that's just what he does. I what can't believe like. that's where we starting off at. This shit, we was just talking. We was just talking. Right? What you want to start off with? What, what's the first one to me? Listen, yeah, man, <laughs> we got some very special guests in the trap with us today. All the way. India, where's India? You get the chicken. All the way from Shut the Big up. Homie's <laughs> House podcast. Facts. We got Kodak. Yes, sir. Big homie Kodak. Welcome to the trap, man. Appreciate it. What y'all got going Glad on? Glad to have y'all. Appreciate it. Yeah. We had to get y'all on here to at least just talk some shit and see what's going on yes, on the other side of things in the podcast, broadcast, journalism, media yeah, we type. Push, yeah, we want everybody to win, goddammit. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful to see. 
Yeah, yeah we got yeah. a radio show now too. So if you watching them up, this motherfucker in Atlanta, tune in every 7 p.m. to midnight. Monday through Thursday. Monday through yeah, Monday through Thursday. Cause if you tune in on Friday, we not gonna be on there. Uh, JoJo and Big Homie show on, on the Beat ATL, iHeart 105.3. Yeah, it's fucking up. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Run it up. Now, when I said we was the first motherfucker to go from goddamn podcast, podcast radio, podcast. it's not no AM signal, it's not no goddamn well, 1 AM to 2 AM shit. It's, we on radio for real. You can goddamn leave what you're doing during the day and hear us. Right. Or during the night. During the night, yeah. So, <laughs> shit, if you were stri- a stripper getting ready to go, goddamn with your fresh BBL, fresh from the Dominican, goddamn about to go to KOD or goddamn, what's uh Blue Flame? King you got a heel first. You said what? She got a heel. They don't be here. Oh, they, they straight. They go straight to it. They straight in. I know a motherfucker fresh off tables in the mirror. Damn. Oh, look at my ass. Bitch, that's swollen. I know who you're talking <laughs> about. You, I knew you knew who I was talking about, too. I, that, your shit's still inflamed, bitch. Your ass ain't finna be that fat. She went to work? Nah, nah she was just showing that motherfucker off. You know, like, off. some girls, they just, they like to heal in peace. And close and, and post on their close friends and shit. Yeah. I don't know why I be in some people's close friends, though. Because you're a friend. What that mean? You're in the friend zone. Oh. That what that mean? Yeah. No, I really think that being in somebody's <laughs> close friends... Oh, shit! Hold on, you're loud. Um, <laughs> I really think that um, being in somebody's close friends, that means, like, they possibly want to fuck you. Oh. I ain't in nobody's shit. You got a close friend? Don't nobody want to have sex I don't even know what this is. I ain't in nobody's shit. On Instagram. Shit. I That's know, I didn't up. even know it was a thing. Yeah, that look like when you see that green close circle friends? when you watch somebody's story. I ain't got no motherfucking friends. Don't nobody want to have sex with you, then. Damn, that's fucked Damn. up. Damn, we talking about Instagram. Yeah, me too. I said if you and somebody's close friends, then typically that mean, you know, Damn. they want you to. Because most of the time on somebody's close friends, they post like they freaky shit on in there. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Don't, I don't, well, I don't got no close friends. I don't shit. know. I ain't in there. You got a close friends? JoJo? Mm mm. No, because I don't do no freaky shit oh, you on bo- social media. Oh, you born. That pussy That's born. Boy, bye. <laughs> <laughs> How you going to say some shit like that? It's kind of weird. My bad. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. He weird. How, what made me weird? He ain't weird. That's my nigga. This is not going to turn into an analysis of Kodak. Clayton, what you putting together over there? Okay. Man, trying to construct something. The last one broke. No. The last one broke, man. Stop Y'all saying that. What we been up to? What the hell y'all been up to? Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, no, oh we've been doing it majorly over, over here. We've been doing it major. We jumping at the gym. We got the app out. Shout out to Channel uh, 8, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got this arguing ass Facebook group that keeps me thoroughly entertained. What's the Facebook co- it's group called? It's called 85 South Show. Hashtag this podcast is for. All right, okay. so I'm going to join that group. I'm going to post a picture of me up. right here. Uh, I'm going to try, try to get my dick sucked by somebody in that group. Yeah, you will. Uh, merch collab with the Hulk. Yeah, Shout out to the Oh, that, come on. That was big. Oh, man. That's the big one. We got the merch going crazy right now. That's the right big now. one right now, Yeah, man. I actually got some merch. I appreciate it. Can't wait. I ain't get no fucking merch. Uh, you Y'all got, got some. Right we got now. something for you. They still making your shit. Yeah, we got something for you. Stitch some shit together. No, we got you some shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, I stitched it together. Bring <laughs> cut <laughs> shit They got new charges. <laughs> they, they, we had to stitch two double XL together. We didn't expect for him to look like that. We got silence for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't expect for him to look like that. Man, we got you some Give shit. Give us the merch you made for the hippos. Boy, <laughs> first of all, why are your bags so big? We got it going oh, up never mind. over here. I know why. We got it going up. This shit hard. Yeah. No, I got some dope ass shit. I'm pretty excited about it. Let me see. We got the gray uh, joint. Shit hard. Oh, hold like, okay. Ooh, hold on. Yeah, we're we trying to put that shit together, okay. man. Ghetto Legends, because y'all ghetto legends in the making too. It is. You know, putting on for the whole hood and things like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You gonna have you know to adjust this shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to adjust this motherfucker. Put some notches. Get some notches. To the last one. This motherfucker's hard as hell. Hell yeah. What made y'all put this show together, man? How did this all come about? So That's shit. a good ass story. You want me to start or you want to start? Don't annoy me. All right, I'm starting. So, goddamn, I was doing this shit before she got here, right? Okay. So, me and the, me and the person, me and the person, the, well, the person who had us about before she got here, got her feelings. Mm-hmm. And she, I'm not about to beg nobody. I'm not about to beg you to give you an opportunity. So, fuck it, she left. So, next day, 
I had got there and said, you know what? I went on Instagram and said, who are the, the top media personalities in Atlanta? So Tag them below. Tag them. So a bunch of people tag them. You got them. a mic on. So you said don't be so, so loud. You, you got a mic on. So don't be so loud, that what you're saying? Okay. Hey, what's up, it's man Carlos Miller, and I'm here to tell you that the 85 South Show is coming in Savannah, Georgia, July the 3rd. That's right, the Ghetto Legends Unfinished Business Tour. Auntie Red. She keeps smiling at me, showing me them uh, gums and licking her she, tongue out. <laughs> oh, Auntie. Hell no, nah, Auntie. Me, Chico, DC, the whole game. Get tickets at 85southshow.com. That's right, 85southshow.com. That's where the tickets are, so that's where you need to be. Let me say it again. The 85 South Show is coming to Savannah, Georgia, July the 3rd. You know I'm doing loose, man. Get the tickets. 85southshow.com. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Lex P. And it's your girl Dre Nicole. And um, <laughs> it's me too. Hey, it's me, yeah. it's Carlos. What's up? Yes, and we're gonna be in Atlanta on June 25th. It's going down. We got a live show, and y'all never know who's gonna pop up. Next we outside. I'm bobbing up. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, because you said your audience real thing. Oh, it's fine. the baddies going to be in the building. Yeah, well, I don't know the baddies going to be there. I want to see. Oh, I'll just be over there in my like little. Carlos like he chose me. Carlos chose enough, so y'all better come and put that on. So we'll see y'all Atlanta, June 25th. We outside. Rent money. <laughs> y'all know the vibe. We're going to contest. Um, so anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> so goddamn, she wasn't following me, but one of her friends that was. She was hey, my coworker. worker yeah. in Chicago for the radio station. Yeah, so one of her, her one of her friends that her co-workers that was had tagged her. I didn't know who she was, but I, I looked at her page, she was half naked on some of the pitch. Oh. I'm like, fuck it, I'm joking. You were you were for real. You were yeah. for real. You were working in the club. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wasn't halfway naked. You had your thighs out. Yeah, that was it. Oh, that's halfway. Gotcha. Fuck you talking about? You crazy right. ass girl. Anyway, so got there. She, I seen, I seen it. I am like, oh, she ain't got no ass, so she kind of a little bit humble. So I got there, sent her a DM. Hold on, Paul. <laughs> Hold the fuck up. Tell me your version. No, 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 no. Because I am. Because this is the first time that I heard you say that, like, you looked at me sexually at first when you first. Said, Nigga, I didn't say nothing about sex. What are you talking you about? You said I was halfway naked. You looked at my ass and I ain't have none. So you was like, oh, she's pretty humble. Let me hear that. That ain't got nothing to do with sex. You know, big boot, BBL bitches is cocky as That's hell. Sexual. Yeah. I don't know where you brought that from. All right, keep going then. So I, I sent her DM. I was like, what you do? <laughs> and she was like, shit, I be doing, I be modeling. I be singing sometimes. I don't I know what the fuck. You, I promise you I got the DM. Don't, don't do that. Shit, I got the bro. DM. I got the DM. Right, so she was like, um, yeah, I be modeling, I be singing shit, I be radio. All right, cool, kick it. So she came through with she, the first episode, you was on Travis Porter. Travis Porter episode, she came on, just just watched. And the next episode, I think it was Money Move, we had come kick it. And shit, she came on it, and we've been here since. And I feel like we wouldn't have got as far as we was without her. Because shit, you know, we was doing numbers as a podcast, that's off the hustle. But like she brought like structure, like with schedules and shit. Yeah, and we gonna stop right now before you get emotional. I'm not emotional. Hey, I felt like the nigga was about to cry. He be crying every time he he show me love. <laughs> he always cry because he grateful. Like he grateful. But my side is it's the same exact thing. I guess like I was doing radio in Chicago for about a year and a half, and one of my coworkers that I work with, she that I work with coworkers, duh. She um she the one who kind of like pushed me to move to Atlanta, cause she, cause she was just like. Ain't shit in Chicago, just do it or whatever. So she really is the one, very specific, I fuck with you. And um, she encouraged me to move out here. So when I moved out here, I started doing bottle service. It was just me and my daughter. She, she was, what, three at the top, four? No, she was three, she was three. And it was just me and her. So I just moved out here and I started doing bottle service to make some money. Cause if you're in Atlanta, you're doing bottle service, you're making hella fucking money. Okay. Especially if you're cute. So I started doing that for a while, but I never stopped like grinding, you know, even though I was in the club, I was networking with motherfuckers and shit. Then my homegirl, she tagged me under his posts. And I wanted to get back in like the media anyway. 
So that was my main goal. So shit, like you said, I went, sat in. They was talking shit, fit perfectly. And then shit, our shit just took off. It just really took off. And it took us a year to get on radio. So we started off podcasting shit. Really and less then, than a year. I say eight months. Cause shit, we started well, this, we made the shit official in August. We couldn't announce right. it till like February. Yeah. So, but shit wasn't easy, shit wasn't sweet. Like we was outside like three, four o'clock in the morning in the rain, trying to get interviews from motherfuckers, like. Bro, yeah. we've been doing a lot. Like, and I feel like that was, that, that's really what made shit. shit work, too, because we got the same type of hustle. Because I'm not going to yeah. ask anybody to do no shit that I wouldn't do, but I do a lot of shit, so... Yeah, it just made sense. And then we both ended up quitting our job at the same time. He was a teacher. I was doing bottle service. and well, God, I was just like... I work with the slow kids. Oh, I was about okay. to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny. That's, Nigga, it is funny because it's true. I ain't even lying. <laughs> no, they need a teacher. They, they need, need somebody with them. Yeah, we connected on the yeah, personal they need level. That. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. Oh, he's slow too. <laughs> My point is that. My point is that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, we so. can grow up and be all right. <laughs> that's that's what we, that, hey, that's what they need to see, bro. Yeah, no, like that. Yeah, I they, wish I could go show and be like, hey, man, I know they told you fucking up, but you all right, bro. You gonna make it. Them the ones who really gonna make it out of there. Easy. Yeah. Gonna take the hood out. We right. going up. Nah, yeah, for sure. This nigga slow as hell. Most of them people are geniuses anyway. Nah, not my kids. <laughs> yeah, he, he ain't his fucking job. <laughs> yeah, I hate that one. motherfucker. He used to come to work pissed off every Monday. Every Monday. Coming that bitch pissed. I already yeah. knew what it was about. Damn, you was a teacher for real? This no, is I, this is yeah. Chicago. No, this is no. here. She's oh, from okay. Chicago. Yeah. I'm from here. Yeah. What school? What? I was at uh, Peyton Forest on, on the west side. Okay. Yeah, I was working with uh, bad kids. Don't say that. There's no such thing as a bad kid. What you call them? Trouble you. This guy. I was, I, yeah, I was working with the trouble you did. Yeah. Whatever you want yeah, to call yeah, it. Yeah, 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 motherfuckers yeah. in my class were fighting every day. Yeah, this guy. Fighting themselves true. and each other. And you. Hell. And me. Yeah, they were swinging on the teachers too. You got your ass up? Shit. You ever take bets on the kids? I used to want to, but I felt like that was crossing the line. <laughs> I was like, damn, bro, we really, we really started this uh, fight club. club in this bitch. <laughs> don't say that. I'm, I'm gone. I, don't, I didn't do it, but I thought about it. That's you know, crazy. I think everybody biting anyway. Shit, yeah, yeah. Like, not recording and getting some. No, no, no. You record it. Yeah, no, you can't record it. That's oh. yeah, no. What do I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do with the film? Oh, put it on. Because uh, that's the I shit the news gonna play. Put it on a fight club started at a local <laughs> middle school. <laughs> exactly. Code that's happened a couple times. Out. I got twenty dollars on the fat kid. No, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, it. But well, yeah, bro, we just be out here getting to it. Yeah. Just. Same shit. We really just be now. talking yeah. shit, cause all these niggas be born. Nah, for real. Do what? Nah, dead ass. Motherfuckers do be born. Oh, it's about. We gotta lit, make that shit lit. What the fuck about that? Work, bro. The whole microphone. Right, part. cause you screaming too loud. Ugly lad boy. You broke the mic. Yep. I was leaning on. I think. Turn the shit off. <laughs> <laughs> broke it. Broke it. The weight limit on you or weight limit on the mic? That's right. <laughs> I think they know what it is now. They back there like, <laughs> <"Hee."> <laughs> 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 No, man, it's we wanted good. to make sure we got y'all on here, though, because y'all definitely got a good show over there and shit. Yeah, Just want to expose y'all, you know, to the to the eighty five percent. I know I came on there. Yeah, we, we come, came on there we come back. Come whenever. We are gonna bring some strippers the next time you. It was some strippers up there. The last oh, it time. was. Who was it? The tall motherfucker with the ass. You ain't gonna you know remember. You know how many tall motherfuckers with asses we had on the show? Damn. Y'all got a lot of giraffe ass running around. We do got a lot of giraffe ass. I like ass, so shit. When we okay, recruiting. Which, which one? What's her name? Don't say her name. Bro. I forgot. No, bro. nobody remember. It was. She was a tall motherfucker with ass. Mm. They was arguing about some shit. It's always. She was arguing. You know how tall motherfucker with ass. Niggas ain't shit type shit. I'd be like. Man. You was the lead, you was the ringleader with that motherfucker. What? Talking about niggas ain't shit. I do say that, but I probably wasn't saying it that time. Oh, he was, yeah, we was going at it though, a little bit. He was, he was trying to speak some knowledge to us. Uh, he was speaking knowledge. Us. But you trying to kick knowledge. Yeah, man, I be trying to help niggas. I don't want niggas to be out here bad. Lost. Right, because there's so much evil already spoken down on our Come black on, ass names. What? We got to give our niggas hope so they can continue to thrive and be better. Is Something to aspire to. Or is it the truth? 
It ain't the truth. How you know? Because it's just a concept. Do you know every nigga that you like? Do you know? No, Shut but up. I, I, know, I can speak to the spirit of every nigga mm. because I know <clears throat> what what niggas' pure intentions are. Because I just so happen to be a nigga. Even though they super fucked up. No, it's not. Who That's the thing up? about it. Most Who ain't fucked up? Most I'm niggas, like some. I mean, most I niggas' intentions not even selfish. Like what? The average nigga you know, means well. Okay, but do you know that like a niggas act different with they niggas than they do with a with a female? Those are different kinds of niggas. So you speaking on one kind of nigga, that cannot be the overall perception. No, we're talking about the majority, the majority mm. of, of niggas. The majority of niggas that I know don't even be hanging around no bunch of niggas yeah, like no. that to be giving a fuck what it, what it you know. Yeah, what... maybe not now, but I'm saying like mm. seven, eight years ago, you knew Why a the fuck are you niggas. talking about seven, eight years ago? Because he on a different level than he, like, than he was then. So I would expect like the higher you go, you know, the, the but better But see, that's the thing about it. That's what I'm saying. The niggas who are like that, that's what they were going to do anyway. It doesn't matter what level they on. Those are just niggas who enjoy being around those particular niggas. But that's not every nigga. <clears throat> like, the niggas that you hang around shouldn't have nothing to do with what you have going on romantically or with, you know, with a woman. You like, your niggas, your niggas supposed to be over here and whatever you doing in your free time with the ladies and shit supposed to be over there. Yeah, and and they never care. supposed to intercept. I'm just and saying. what type of nigga be fucking with women that you can't bring around if it's that serious? What? I'm too grown to be sneaking. Nah, what he's saying is, <laughs> what he's, yeah, what he's, what he's, nah, what he's saying is that the women that he fuck with do not affect his, his nigga group because... Right. Shit, they don't interact. They I'm don't the intersect. Nigga, I'm, I'm choosing. Yeah, but I'm not saying women. Like, I'm the type of nigga that understand. Like, if you what ever you choose like? pussy over the homies, I get it. Like, I'm, I'm the first nigga congratulating you. Like, you got drafted. Yes, go. Represent. We'll see you when we see you. I don't give a fuck if it's four months from now. Just have four months worth of pussy on you. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, yeah. be different next time yeah. I see you. I want the best for you. Come Ain't back, that heart the broken. reason why we became <laughs> homies? So somebody could graduate into an oasis and get, <laughs> or a great relationship or whatever it is that make niggas get fat and happy. Exactly. You probably, you probably became friends because it's hard hunting pussy by yourself. Niggas, you need to the niggas who have common interests. He says you probably became friends because it's hard hunting pussy by yourself. I mean, you get this in a group. Yeah. So you're not gonna keep the friend to keep fucking up your chance to oh, get Oh, you pussy. can't keep the nigga around that's scaring the hoes. You, come you on, you can't on, keep the Come on, man. Come on. If you a nigga that's scared of hoes, you're not gonna keep you gotta you're go, not gonna guy. Keep no type my of friends. My guy, my guy, you got you can't come to this one. So y'all saying y'all need a nigga like around to get a bitch? No, no, no nigga, no. no that's not, not what we talking about. Nobody not said it. Like minded individuals. Mm, okay. That's Say for instance, we going to some shit like the Essence Festival. Some you know, niggas not getting invited because right. they make the yeah, hoes feel a un certain kind of Exactly. That is, and that is called scaring the hoes. That's why you got to pull that nigga to the side and say, yo, you scared the hoes. No, you don't even do that. Uh, you got age. to, man. You just eliminate this nigga with no During the function? explanation. You got to let you, if that's your nigga, you got to let him During know. During the function? Yes. You got to let him know. Yes. What kind of nigga are you? That you have a you got to give him you got to give him the rundown, but if he don't make the adjustment on the spot. Right. If I'm, if we out as a group of friends and I hear one of the hoes say, "Who man's is this?" Oh. Not mine. Now I'm here by my fucking <laughs> self. I didn't come with them. Mission. I didn't come with them. We walked in at the same time. That nigga went eight We walked in at the same time. I don't, time. Know, I don't know them. I have no idea who, who are they. You know who? You know who that is in the. I who have no idea. Don't know him. He a local. <laughs> don't know. Him. That nigga's crazy. local. What you saying about yourself? That's your homie. No, it ain't. Some not why we with the hoes. That's no. the thing about not why. Not, over when, bros, not when you fucking it what you up. Saying. Yes. Not when you fucking no, no. it up. Wow. Yes, hoes over bros. Because this <laughs> yeah. is the thing about it. Yes. The niggas change when the hoes get around. That's when you find out. Okay. That's when you find out if uh -oh. this nigga really hold your on. friend or not. Uh -oh. Hold on, hold on, because I was just, I just said that to you. I just said that niggas are different around bitches. I said exactly. that to you. Exactly. Right, but you was like, but the nah, poor niggas, niggas who you be your around. niggas is Why not going to fold around no Because they don't have to. They multi-purpose. Exactly. Who? Your, the core niggas. Your core niggas, you got situational niggas. N niggas be different in, in different situations. Mm -hmm. There's some niggas that may, may be good in one situation that you can't bring around the hole. They're going to scare the hole. So y'all do know that 
pussy changes a whole a way, the way a whole nigga move and think or whatever. You can look at a nigga right. today. It can be eleven niggas in the room. If four hoes walk in, the group going it's gonna split into three <laughs> different groups. No, 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 no. Let's bypass Facts. all that. No, hold on. Let's just bypass all that. Let's. We're not talking about when the hoes come in. We talking about when the nigga know the hoe. He talk to her, whatever. He telling you one thing, but just know. That when he get home or when he call her, he on some whole other shit. That's what that, niggas that's do. That's between him and that's him. Oh, that's yeah. between him and You can't penalize a nigga for what game okay, he play. Okay, I just want to make sure we on the same page. Yeah, that's whatever, what get, exactly. whatever yeah. a yeah. nigga say to yeah. the hoes oh, ain't no cap, other nigga big business. Big cap, motherfucker. Man, you ain't say none of that shit, man. Niggas be on some. Yeah, you ain't say yeah, that. Yeah, that shit don't matter. That's what, your, that's that's your, I, I told the bitch. that's why I said that niggas be weird. How's that weird? Hold up, we can't say that. Niggas be weird individually. So it's not like every you nigga is their own type of weird. You know, I can only speak on myself. But I feel like niggas only do shit that has worked in the past. Niggas got a so playbook. So whatever it is that yeah. you're like, this nigga's niggas weird, that shit done work before. Yeah. Because the nigga ain't out here really yeah. just freestyling like that. Yeah. Mm. Niggas not taking open shots. He he don't work on that shot before. That shit. It looked crazy good. to you, but he don't work on that shot. Mm-hmm. Why this nigga shoot behind his back? It worked before. Mm-hmm. Nah. Don't nobody never talk about the weird ass women that we encounter on the on the journey either. We meet some weird ass women. Cause women I'm don't sure. know they weird. Absolutely. No, women women absolutely don't know they weird. They think, oh shit, yeah. you know he's supposed to accept this because this me, bitch. You weird. You a weird ass bitch. <laughs> No, and, like, your, and your homegirl's not gonna say that shit because you be paying for everything. Now they be you trying to say they goofy. Shit. I'm goofy. I'm a goofy girl. No, you bitch. Goofy, goofy ass bitch. You, you, you goofy as in a goofy or like goofy as in a goofy? No, they be putting that in their bio. Like they, they be like, they be like, I'm, I'm goofy. No, bitch, you're odd. You <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're, you're peculiar, bitch. You're a yeah, peculiar no. ass <laughs> bitch. Don't try to put that shit on. You're fucking goofy. No. I don't know. Maybe females do be knowing that they, like, I know. Your friend got a a separate group chat without you, bitch. You weird. Yeah, she do. <laughs> That's you the worst know. shit ever when you pick the weird ass friend. No. Oh, out of the group? You be like, yo, what you wanna do? I just like to go out and chill. We can hit a bar or something. <laughs> then you can take her to the bar and she get drunk as fuck and throw up all night. This the first night. Not even night. cool Come drunk. On. This the first night. Come on. Bitch, she drunk at Applebee's. But that, Come makes, on. that makes her Come cold on. off because she has a low alcohol level. She done threw up right? all over she her. Don't you don't do that. She Why 28 you? and she, she don't know she how to take her liquor. She's trying to show you First time. night. She you sloppy drunk, drunk she throwing up, pissing. Lowe's. Okay, now you went to What's the, the craziest shit you seen at a girl house? Like you went back to her crib and that shit was you was like, oh, oh I got one. I got one. This ain't regular. Lowe's, Lowe's, craziest go, shit? Go yeah. first, Lowe's. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. All the furniture was on the floor. What? No what? legs? Yeah, like literally. <laughs> like a futon mattress. Like the like a futon couch. Pushed up against the wall. Yeah, that Dang. type of shit. Now come on. Yeah. Did you fuck her though? No. Oh. I was so throw because it was just like every time you go out with somebody, you learn like as you get to where I'm at in life, you don't always want some pussy. There is some red flags that you will encounter be- that will make you be like, I don't give a fuck what like happened. Butter. If this happens right now, I'm not fucking like all this is going on right now, and I ain't even got no the fat of the ass. I'm not sticking around. What if she had a fat ass? Yeah, the fat of the ass is higher. You know what I'm saying? I've been, been through counter, enough. Like- Oh, because she got a fat ass is that I'm not going to risk it. I don't give a fuck what goes on. Mm. It's certain shit that I see now, I'm like, nope, don't want no pussy. So what are the things yeah, that a woman has to have what? to make fat you ass be like, what? I, I, get I you, ain't going. I ain't get going. you caught up on some bullshit. Oh, like my personal red like, flags? Red flags, like, okay, I ain't, ain't chasing. I got okay. I'm not All right, this is one, one of my red flags. If we go I like out ass, though. and you know too many niggas, I don't want to fuck you. Red flag! I don't, I don't want to fuck you no more. No, if we go somewhere and you know, you dapping up everybody. And you know two niggas, I'm done. What you mean by no two niggas? No two niggas. You know, you know security, the promoter, and the host. No, bitches, oh, you ain't supposed to know all these niggas. niggas. Right. But it's okay. Right. Neither right. one of us stay on this side of town. How you do you know all these niggas? And it's the approach, how they come up to you. You know the flyer nigga too, the nigga that be passing down flyers. They super familiar. Oh, yeah. Okay, check this out. You have been here before. This is another one. They before that, they if, we, before that if we out in public and you introduce me to a nigga, turned off. Turned off. Oh, yeah. No. No. 
Hell no. What Drake, what Drake said? I know, no. I know them type of hooks. So I have a question. No. Is I know them type of hooks. No. Is it because of her or is it because no, of No, that's you? just my personal shit. Me Don't like introduce why, me to a nice ass nigga. But why no, that's that red flag. But why does that bother you? It Let's doesn't. get to the root. What Let's history you got no. with this nigga to make you feel so comfortable? It don't bother me. It's cool. It's just that I know that whatever happened after this is about to be some bullshit. I've done it enough times. My experience has proven this shit. I'm not, no. But what if she has, like, what if, I don't know. I, I don't know, give I a, a fuck of what of she got. So, you know what I'm saying? This my brother. So Bitch, I, you fucking him. Nope. You so fucking it's him. It's not even about if they fucked or not. I just don't want to be with that type of energy. Yeah. I don't know. I don't fuck even the energy. That. You should suck that nigga dick. Fuck no. that. What's one of your red flags? Bro, I went to one girl house. She was old, too. And she had hella stuffed animals. Uh, that's, a, that's crazy. Like, that's, um, you don't want them, them kind of called? problems. Them collectible things? What no, the what's the name babies? No, 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 Beanie, Beanie, Beanie Babies. Yeah, no, Beanie Babies. not them, nigga. She had like all types of different ones all on the bed. And I'm like, where you sleeping? <laughs> Why the fuck you Did you jump at? in a pile of stuffed animals and go to sleep? You got a big ass multiple bed pillow? This shit looks scary, fuck? man. Yeah, no. I'm no, I remember one time I was talking to this chick on MySpace and we met a person and she was a midget. No. When I look. That ain't, you can't say that. No, nah, a you little person. Say a little person. Yeah, she was a little person. So goddamn, but when I look back at her MySpace picture, I realized she ain't never had no full body picture. It was always a fake picture or an upper body picture or a picture of her ass. It wasn't none of that shit ever combined. You couldn't tell by the ass? The ass was fat, nigga. It was a close-up of the yeah, ass. It, it, it didn't show the ass and legs. It was the ass. Oh. It was, well, don't care. He see ass and he like... But it was, it was a big ass. You know, all, you ain't never seen no midget with no little ass. All midgets thick. I don't know. You know, my life just done changed. My standards just done went up. You know, my, my standards went up. What you doing now? What about my red flags? What about yeah, what, yeah, fuck your red flags? Us. What's your red flag? Nah, fuck y'all. There's a whole lot of testosterone in here. Oh, no, talk shit. I don't have red flags. You don't? Nope. Anything. Anything must go. I'm saying, like, let me see what's that. I don't have no red flags. I can't, I'm not going to, like, just be like, because you, I walk in here. <laughs> so you still got time to go through this shit, though. I'm almost 40. Nah, like... I can tell okay, by the verbiage if it's about to be some bullshit or let not. Let me really think, like, if a nigga really came on some shit, what would make me be like... Um, I think a red flag for me is a nigga too eager to, like, text me, talk to me, be with me and shit. I don't like that. What be fucking weird, bro? Just me personally, I just what don't like that. But that's because, like, I don't like to be smothered in general. So if I am in a relationship... Like, I don't want my nigga to smother me. <clears throat> so if I feel like when I'm first starting to talk to you, you don't even know me, and you ain't getting none from me yet, and you like that, no. Because I know when I get See? Some, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I was saying. You fuck around, and then you fuck, and now you got to deal with all this shit Ooh. times 10. Whoa. That shit over with. <coughs> no. Well, I guess a nigga living with his mama. That's red flag. Oh yeah, man! I'm not even gonna fuck with you, bro. Have you seen? Oh man! Cause what? These house, these, the housing market right now, yeah. shit crazy. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Gas is five dollars a gallon. You gotta get up out of there, though. Child, you gotta get up out of there. You why gotta are you go. Ain't doing it? You gotta go. I'm not doing that shit. <clears throat> you yeah. gotta get up out of there. What if that's the best situation house, for him? What if he saved? Him? Yeah, but okay, that's fine. Get up out of there. You still can't fuck I had 40,000 no. save, I should have been moved out. See, that's Ain't what that niggas got to understand, say? bro. Whatever position that you're you in in life, life, those are just going to be the type of women that's going to fuck with you. If you're a nigga that live with his mama, that means that you're limited to these group of women that's exactly. going to fuck with you because you live with your mama and they don't mind that shit. But that don't mean... Everybody else got to fuck with you. You just off limits exactly. to some bitches who ain't fucking no, with you. No, facts, for sure. Let's normalize that. Let's normalize dating in your bracket. Again, you got to, whatever you, wherever you at light, you got to stand on that shit. If that's the shit you accept for yourself, you but can't see, be mad at it. Ne it'll never work like that because everybody always going to feel like they're the exception to whatever the standard well, they is. they will feel like that, the person who's going through it. But what if you, you know... The, the person on the other side, for instance, me, I'm not saying I never held a nigga down before I have in school, law school. Like, I didn't held motherfuckers down, but 
They now, was in law school, or you were I'm about to say. Two separate niggas. Like, one was in school, and another one and was in law school. And you ain't getting one of them? So you hitting zero percent for niggas in law school? And, and is they fault? You're terrible. Um, no, just relax. Everybody relax. What I'm saying is, is <laughs> after a while, that shit get tiring, and then right now, it's just... I'm not doing that shit again. That's all I'm saying. So who fought it if you broke, in broke up with lost niggas? Because I'm gonna tell a motherfucker like, I'm not doing that, but I'm the fucked up person. Cause nah. I don't wanna deal with that. I nah. don't need that already. So you don't fumble, fumble, you don't fumble two niggas in law school. Who fought that is? I fumbled. She gonna give you me. You ain't even find out if them niggas finished or nothing. <laughs> did they finish? You know them niggas. I don't know them niggas. You don't know them niggas. So I'm asking, did they finish? That's none of your damn business. That nigga ain't no lawyer. <laughs> now I'm just laying. That nigga a public defender. defender. No, that nigga, that nigga ain't <laughs> lawyer. If he, if he, so you if he. So you two lawyers? Yeah. All right, that was Yo, what we Y'all stop talking about this shit for that nigga. Watch this shit and sue us. For real. Slander. He ain't gonna sue shit. Malicious content. Oh, you a bad lawyer? Nah. I'm just saying, like. Why I gotta be the one to fumble because this nigga has something going for himself? Do you know what the fuck I got going for myself? So what? So, Talk your shit. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, you right. What? You work with me. Right, we right. should all just take a moment. <laughs> Let's go. We should all just take a moment to just reflect on the people who fumbled us. Ooh. Women never think they fumble anybody, though. <laughs> what? What you say? Somebody you fucked with did never recover after you. What you say? Women never think they fumbled anybody, though. What? Bro, I'm oh, just saying. On. We should I, just I reflect on the people that fumbled us. I know I fumbled a nigga before. Oh, yeah, him. What? You don't even know who the fuck. Oh, hold on. Moment of silence? No, we don't got to take a moment of silence, you know. It's just that, you know. Somebody didn't recover after you. A lot of bitches fumbled. You got to look at the bright side sometimes. Somebody, you the best shit somebody done ever had one time. Yeah. It's bad when you know that shit, though. But is that a good thing? Oh, that's a good thing for us, bad thing. Yeah, it's us. good for you, because, like, you might not get but one chance to be the best some, somebody ever had. And uh, it's good to just believe it, even if it's even not if true. Even if it's not true. You even just got to believe true. in the back of your yeah. mind that one of these people that you fuck with, you was the best. No, yeah. no, that'd be, no. That'd be bad when you fuck, no, that'd be bad when you fucking with a bitch, and you're like, damn, bitch, you kind of a loser. That's, that's you the best she could do? Yeah, that's like, a lot about you, Kodak. Self-esteem is on the ground. No, nah, 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 not out. just saying it's because of me. But you just look at bitch and know she a loser. What I'm saying is if you know you a fucked up person, accept that you a fucked up person, don't think that, oh, they fumbled me and think I could have been the best, I was the best. When you know good and damn well you was some shit. Man, everybody up here up. Well, they fumbled us. Nobody said I'm you had to be perfect, but <clears throat> even at your worst, you were still somebody's best. Okay, I get what you're saying, but what, I'm, what I'm saying is that when you know you was at fault, you, you, you are in love. Right. Take accountability of being a, a, a <laughs> fucked up person. Okay? Yeah. Who up and fucked up? I ain't saying, I'm, I'm speaking It takes a while to work on all your fucked up tendencies. Like, year by year, you, you, you eliminate a fucked up tendency. Or you get some more. <clears throat> right. And that's true. But what I'm saying is, Realize that you fucked up and you were a fucked up person. Learn from it, grow from it, and be that person that you saying that they are now. What I'm saying is you have to realize when you're at fault, because how how you gonna change it? You can always be like, oh, I'm gonna be better, and I know I can be better, but I wasn't better. So let me see. This is the thing about it, and like, grow. and then when you deal with somebody else, these flaws that somebody been telling you that you had, they not even flaws to this person. So it's not True. that you just fucked up. It's just that with this person you have, y'all y'all bullshit don't connect. It and that's what I always say. You can find somebody who can deal with your ass when they don't want to deal with you. That's who you're supposed yeah, to man. be dealing with. But at the end of the day, a flaw is based off of other people. Like, other people's concept of thinking is what to me. It's subjective. Is what, that was, that's what yes, you're looking for. which is what makes mm, okay. something flaw. Right. So, in order for you to understand it's a flaw is if a lot of people keep saying it. For example, I don't think I'm fucking crazy. I think I'm normal as fuck. But when multiple people say I'm crazy, what I'm supposed to do? Be like, I'm not crazy? Who said you're no, crazy? No, fuck them people. Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, because all y'all bitches wrong. Right. That's <laughs> what they gonna say after they threw fucking but with you. But it's just, no, 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 I'm sitting. No, but if you was that. to put them back in rotation, they would still deal with your crazy ass. That's the crazy part about that shit. Your flaws ain't really that bad if somebody gonna keep fucking with your you. Your flaws only relevant if you accept them as relevant. Right. <clears throat> In self, you don't realize them. It's not like deep down I feel like, oh, this is a flaw. No, because I'm me. But 
I pay attention to what everybody else says and how they feel. And if it's a communalative, communalative, cumulative, 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 cumulative. If everybody's saying the shit. <laughs> Right. If everybody's saying this shit, then I'm gonna like think about it and be conscious about it. Is what I'm saying. Okay. Right. But I'm gonna still feel the way I feel about myself. But I'm gonna respect how everybody else feel and just you know, move. Don't don't be myself fully around that group of people. Hell, shit. No, you gotta be yourself at all times. Who else you gonna because, be? Because like. In certain situations. No, you have to because you can't sit there and try to be like, and fit this box that doesn't exist. Like, that's, that's why this show is the perfect example. It's like everybody on this side, that's what pushed us this far. Because don't nobody walk in here and have to tuck themselves in. You get what I'm saying? It's like, this is everybody on 10. If a motherfucker walk in here and they ain't feeling it, we'll know that they ain't feeling it but we gonna know when they are feeling it. You get what I'm saying? Ain't nobody having to pretend or make believe or none of that shit. And I think that's the biggest difference between a lot of shit. You can listen to some shit, you don't have to believe the words that are being said, but you know how that shit make you feel. Right. You get what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah. People can separate, separate the fake from the real shit. But what if what you do is a, a world full of fake shit? That's you the thing to, about it. What's, what, what you do in that situation? That, that doesn't have to do shit with your realness. Hell, because at the, you know, in the grand scheme of it, it's like you're just a facilitator. Shit, the people who consuming this shit, they're not trying to sit there and figure out if it's real or not. But that doesn't affect your realness and how you deliver this shit. Shit, motherfuckers sit there and draw cartoons. They just as important as the motherfuckers who make the movies. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all then about how you facilitate that shit. Now, if you going out there and you selling fake shit and you acting like it's real, then your realness is in question. But if you know exactly what you're dealing with, how the fuck can people say, that shit ain't real? And like, bitch, it ain't my real, but this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's why I don't have so, uh, opinions on a lot of shit. Because at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck. So my opinion ain't gonna be, it's, I don't wanna be the motherfucker who's just saying shit just to be, to get a reaction. I don't give a fuck about if this shit happened or not. Cause in my demographic as a black man, that shit don't, it's not gonna affect me. Give a fuck how much the gas costs. Nigga, that shit could be ninety dollars a gallon. Nigga, you gonna get your one gallon and get the fuck on. Okay. Everybody <laughs> gonna get it. You gonna get it. You yeah, gonna what get the fuck it. is you gonna do? That's, Damn, what I'm I'm like, that's what the whole pandemic has shown it. us, nigga. You better, you gonna buy that shit or you gonna wake up and ain't gonna be no gas, no matter how much money you got. You better buy that shit while it's You better buy that shit while you can and take your ass home. When his complaining about gas ever did something like they gonna say, all right, all right, Jesus. <laughs> I will hear you. You don't blew the Facebook page up. <laughs> Man, don't please. call us no more. <laughs> all right, we're gonna give y'all 10 billion Kroger points. This shit is fuck. I'll take it. Hey, but them Kroger points. I'll take it, for sure. You get 70 points off a gallon. That's, that's 400 yeah. points per American. Yeah. yeah. That's three quarters of a tank. Do you even want help at this point? They shut the fucking world down literally for nine fucking months and sent people eighteen hundred dollars. Nigga, that's two hundred dollars per month, damn near, when you break it down. Do you really even want this kind of help? How the fuck you gonna live for two hundred dollars? I'm telling you, man. Well, that's groceries and that's it. That's gross for half the month. You can't buy Absolutely. no fucking groceries and feed no I family. Two weeks? Yeah. You, you, you can because you don't have no family to take care of. $200 ain't shit. She a single mom. She'll tell you that is, that ain't even a fucking whole cart full of groceries. You know at Publix, Man. like that shit is literally two packs of meat, maybe one one vegetable, some fro two frozen shits, and like three 
Chuck, you got the juice. Yeah, exactly. That shit over with. That shit you is just gone. Like one hundred and fifty-seven dollars worth like, of shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm dead serious. I'm like, I should nah, get shit, nigga. Bar. I'm getting the fucking the fucking. Nigga, chicken wings is forty dollars for goddamn thirty-eight wings. Bruh. <laughs> I went to JJ and that shit that cost normal cost me eleven dollars, cost me eighteen. Man, at the club now, yeah, bro. yeah, Chicken everything. I'm just saying if they don't right, go over these JJ, prices, she was eighteen dollars. Like, everything else, like our like our the money, the amount of money we get, like that's called inflation. Uh, minimum wage and shit. Everything is high as fuck, fuck, bro. Buy some cheese, my nigga. Even the price of pussy went Man, up. Man, I bought some fucking milk. That shit was like the same price as fucking gas. It damn yeah. sure. Gay said, milk and what? gas be right there together. Well, it's gonna Buy get some you some cheese. Gas. That shit gonna have you standing in the grocery store like, nigga, do we even need cheese? Well, you right, because I got some fucking cheese. What you so, got cheese for? For, um, what did I make? I don't remember, but some So you didn't need no American fucking cheese? cheese. Yeah, See? no, it was like cheese. You didn't need that shit. <laughs> yeah, I did. It was American cheese. That shit, oh, for my hibaritos. That's what it was. And um, that shit was four twenty nine. That's that, that's where the plantain yeah. bread. Yeah, see, okay. I know something. Come okay. on, yeah, yeah I, I know a little something. Hey, that's Chicago thing. Yeah, yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. That's my dog. That nigga be knowing that's shit. That's what's up. Bro. But no, like, well, like four twenty nine. Well, that's twenty nine. 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 Mm-hmm. Yep. That's the shit speed that Gonzalez be saying yeah. when you take off. Even he know. Ain't even even that. I know too now. Hey, it's it's good. Good. I'm he in that bitch good. like geography. Yeah. Definitely didn't say that. But yeah, you was getting cheese and then what? It was four twenty nine. I'm telling you, bro. Everything has fuck now. I just I be peeping shit. I got I be watching them numbers. I got a do do do. That shit was four twenty nine. What? I don't even want no sandwich this week. I'm telling you, bro. Right. I'm Sam Club shouting now. Gotta be. I don't know who boxing the shit up at Sam Club, but this shit is ridiculous. I gotta get that shit. Bro. You gotta get this shit. It, it's like Costco song. Do that shit all they, the time. they give you yeah. so much shit, you feel guilty about it. It's like numbers you never even imagined. I ain't know y'all made that shit in bulk. Five hundred type <laughs> shit. How y'all give me five hundred yeah, packets of mayonnaise? Bulk, though, like. Yeah, I'm thugging like that. Yeah, that's your I shit. really feel like that. I feel like all my life I've been cheated out of bulk. <laughs> that shit I'm going to use oh this. Oh, my God. They already I'm going to use it. They I'm already know what it is shit. when I'm coming in that bitch. I'm coming in that bitch thugging. The lady run over there, sir, are you a mirror? I be like, watch out. <laughs> watch the fuck out. You must don't know me. They going to see this like. Uh, I'm I Mr. Sir, it. can we help you with that to the car? I knew it was that guy. Yeah. All that right, nigga. They know me back there in them electronics. I don't fuck around in here. Yeah. Oh, God, it was scary. Bought so much shit in there one time. They like, how you going to get it home? Two trucks pulling up to the door. You want me Let's to break go. back my way up? Let's go. So what, so what do you get exactly? What don't I get? I want to know. Oh, the list of Tell shit that I haven't got. Is, oh, my God. Let's go. Boom. The nigga buying cases of chips at a time. What's chips? Oh, my God. Oh, okay. name them. Hot Cheetos, um, shit. Flame I got every shit. Everybody ever been to my house will tell you anything you can think of. My, my snack game is ah, I got you beat. My cousin work at the Lays Factory. I be getting the motherfuckers off. Oh, your truck. cousin work at the Lays Factory? Yeah. Your cousin ain't got shit I ain't got. <laughs> hey, man, I don't know. We right, have a lazy at every Thanksgiving. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Any nigga that ever we, been to my house all the shit. will tell you when niggas leave my house, they always say, hey, Lopes is cool if I grab her. <laughs> hey, man, I'm just going to get a snack. You, you got 200 of them, uh. all. <laughs> shit. Hey, man, so That's first thing <laughs> motherfucker do, hey, Lopes, what you got over there, man? <laughs> And you you know, got like, experimental snacks over there, yeah, huh? I got all this yeah. shit. Don't drop to the winter I'm 23. The only nigga that you know with an icing machine. They got what, gushers. I got an icing machine. <laughs> Coca Cola. Good around this motherfucker. I got, I got red icing and blue icing, nigga. Sometimes I get real exotic and throw Coca Cola on that bitch. Yeah, nigga, with the polar bear dancing on that bitch. <laughs> you got the shit with the polar bear on it? Yeah, nigga, icy Yo, machine. Yo, this nigga got money. Yeah. Icy machine. Not nigga. the slush puppy. Not slush puppy. Icy. Come on, bro. It's definitely a difference. I Come like on. slush puppy, though. I like slush slushy. Puppy. I like slush syrup drink, too. Better. Syrup better? It be, be icy. icy. It be icy, icy with syrup. No, I like the ice, though, part about it. Yeah. I'm fucking like that. That shit funny as hell. Man. That shit so funny. You don't Damn. put no Hennessy in there. That's that's up to the guests. You don't put no Hennessy You got a Hennessy pound in your shit, too? No, nah, hell no. Nah. You put it in like Hennessy with lemonade, yeah. And the Coca-Cola icy. Yeah. That should be five. 
Okay. I'm living my wildest dreams, bro. With the snack cabinet. Everything. Ghetto, don't stop there, though. Ghetto legend. Ghetto yeah, legendary right. shit. You gotta get the pop portable your shit, one. Pop your shit, bro. Just pop your That's shit. exactly what I do. It's I pop my it's shit. You gotta get the portable one. Come on, Bring man. it on the road. Make right. it mandatory. Subtle flex shit. Woman towel show warmer, warmer, nigga. They gotta have it there. Towel warmer. I, ain't, I haven't had a cold towel in years, nigga. Cold towels for fucking No, peasants. I'm talking about towel warmer, nigga. You put the towel in the towel warmer, then by the time you ready for that bitch, the time like will go off. Like the nail salon? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what you, like, get, what you use that for? Warming my towels. Mm -hmm. What towel? you do with a warm towel? Everything. It dry me off faster. It you feel never, better on my we body. We don't got warm towels. Oh, cold towel. Cold towel, that bitch. No, maybe that's when I should be sitting in the closet. Like, nah, it's from the closet to the towel warmer. You can put the time yeah. on it. You gotta like, oh, never mind. Let me shut the fuck up. Yeah, so you can put the time on it. So by the, you can set that shit like as you shower. Cold so towel then having you the motherfucker. Out, your towel is warm. Oh, I'm thinking wet warm. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was. That I want to wash my nuts after that's having. That's what I was thinking. I no, you that talking was about the on. towel warmer rack? That's the that's the thing you talking about. Okay. These I niggas got too much money yeah, for me. Yeah. Okay. yeah I nah, got you just have to up your standards, man. It's not about cost. It's about the value. Quality of life. But can I get a towel or a towel warm it's on like Amazon? This is off. Do I want my lights on or do I want my towels warm? He didn't even say that okay. shit. How much that shit cost? You, I already counted yourself out. What? You gotta lose the spirit. <laughs> nigga, please. I ain't lost yet. So how I gotta lose the spirit? There you go. Talk Ooh, your shit. Talk back. your shit. You don't believe that you talking to me? Let's go. Let's go. go. Let's go. <laughs> God damn. What's up, world? It's your boy Chico Bean. And in case you haven't heard, we at the 85 South Show have launched our own independent streaming service called Channel 85. And for our loyal supporters, we're currently offering 20% off for six months. Just use code 85%. That's P E R C E N T E E R 85%. And you'll get 20% off for the first six months. Now, once you sign up, you'll get access to the podcast a whole day earlier than everyone else on YouTube. All of our new live shows, independent specials, new shows like five on the 85 and even get special offers and discount codes for 85 south show merchandise and shows it's only eight dollars and fifty cent a month or 85 dollars for the entire year and you can find us online at channel 85.com or on your iphone apple tv amazon fire stick and roku and it's even on android for all my people with the green text and remember, use code 85 percent for 20 percent off for a whole six months. That's Channel 85. Subscribe right now. Bowling. Hey, breaking news: no 85 love. South Show has just broken into the Hispanic community. They have discovered us. Okay. They have discovered us. I did not know. They showed a clip, bro. Yeah, have subtitles on the moon, though. Yeah. Old. That's dope. Univision. You know, we've no, been brought into the Caucasian have. community a long time ago. Had to. Oh, oh they yeah. sneak and watch. No, they do. They late at sneak night. And watch? Yeah. Hmm. I can't let my husband Bill see this. No, they watch it can't together as a union. Woo! What? Yeah. We gotta get into that market. Are you making this shit up or this shit is real? I'm not making this shit. Real. shit. It's real. I it's actually have spoken to the actual, people. Actual factual. I'm in the streets with it. You know who really watches this couple? I mean, Ooh. like this show? Like as a couple? Women who love women. Mm. Hell yeah. <laughs> yep. A lot of WNBA players. Girls want in. girls where I'm from. Hell yeah. Uh, white dudes named Chet who smoke out of the uh, little pipe. You talking about Tom Hanks, son? No, like not him. The other mm. one in college still. Oh, niggas that George Tit. Yeah, they fuck with this shit hard. Shout out niggas that Chet named George Tit. Yeah. Damn, that's your lip. Truck drivers. Only nigga watch our shit named, bitch yeah. named Tro Troy Quisha. People who work in warehouses. Okay. Amazon workers. Shout out to y'all. Yeah. Y'all watch it right oh. now. All of my Instagram videos. This Walmart shit ain't lying. Walmart workers. Let's fucking see it. Subway employees. Waffle House third shift. All the Taco mm -hmm. Bell managers. I love, I love Waffle House, but John motherfucker needs to start picking up the phone. Because I don't want to sit in the motherfucker wait 30 minutes. If I'm on the way, have my shit ready when I get there. When have you ever waited for an order for 30 minutes at Waffle House? The shit on Northside. They it's don't packed. have 30 yeah. minutes worth of shit to wait on when they Waffle House. I be ordering a lot, though. Oh, yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> you fucking up some shit.
Yeah, let me you get it. Is ordering shit that ain't on the menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah let me get a. Uh, I want a patty milk, but can you put two pork chops on the patty milk, <laughs> sir? Hold on, let me ask my manager if we can do that. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. We can put the patty. Well, yeah. You All say right, you want us to the double pork chop patty milk? He on that give him instruction. Toast the bread first. <laughs> you put some jelly on it. Listen to me. Then bake it. Two eggs. <laughs> Yeah, fry the pork chop. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, one, burn <laughs> one side. Then put that side facing up. Ah! Then put the hash browns on the bottom. Another layer of gel. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm going to tell you how to make it stick together. <laughs> now get some syrup. <laughs> put the syrup on the grill first. <laughs> grill syrup. So we got to put the syrup on grill grill. my syrup. <laughs> We don't care. Put the syrup on the grill. Man, do I it. <laughs> do it. Y'all are I called that motherfucker ten times this morning. I was mad as fuck. Bitch, pick up the phone. I called back when Miss Tammy get to work. She know what I'm going to do. I know her shit. She she don't, is, she'll be there for uh, what I call back. Uh, fuck, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> she don't have to put a syrup on that motherfucker. As soon as she get there, she ain't clocked in yet. Get your boy called. Oh, <laughs> so I, <put> the syrup <laughs> on the I ain't even clocked in yet. I'm not gonna deal with him. <laughs> He'll call back. She already knows bullshit. Your boy that put a syrup on the grill. <laughs> Don't get the syrup. Put <laughs> that on the grill first. Grill my Miss Tammy, no. Hell no. Nah. Hell yeah. They, they man. Wawa, <laughs> hey man, you work at Wawa and watch some shit, man. Pick up the phone, nigga trying to order, dog. They watch this at Wawa House, too. Put that shit on the bitch yeah. screen. Pick up the phone. A nigga calling I right just now. Don't think I called that bitch 10 times. They didn't pick up. You haven't been using your platform right to let Waffle House know that you need a VIP. I, uh, I need to get the Waffle House Maybe you sleep. need to just switch locations, bro. Yeah. Where, I need, where I need to record. Yeah, you Find you another Waffle House. Cause you exactly. should be. No, 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 no. I, look, I, I order from the Shit one on, I, the ones on Old Net, and I will order from the one on Piedmont, and I order from the one on Northside. These don't, I don't, none of these places are close together, so you just. I be riding around the city. It's, it's on my path. You just ain't found your Waffle House yet. I ain't like, found a Waffle House. I, 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 I used to order from the you one You go to Waffle House, you gotta go to Waffle. Home. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta I used go to go to the one by Waffle Tyson Crib. That motherfucker closed down. I just can't see myself. I I don't. I can't recall the time I ever had to wait 30 minutes for a Waffle House order. I get the Philly cheese steak with a waffle with hash browns smothered and covered. I now I add two two slices of cheese to my Philly cheese steak omelet. So shit, man. Then they put the syrup on. The, all right, whatever. They be drizzle the syrup on that motherfucker, man. I was gonna bring strippers today, but I brought my wow. interns instead. Cause strippers are fun. They're very entertaining individuals. Man. Speaking of catches at KLDs every Thursday. What y'all doing out there? Hosting. Fucking with strippers. Shit, really? We just out there with a setting the vibe. So. Setting the vibe for the for the dance. Yeah, for man. your body. Right. Yeah, yeah, man, if you, fuck, if you fuck with the show, man, come kick it with the homies. You know, we're going to have the hookah. We're going to have, what are we drinking we this week? Drink, we're not drinking Hennessy no more. Why not? Because I don't like Hennessy. That what? shit don't do right for me. That shit had her humping strippers man. last week. What? No, it didn't have me humping strippers last week. Oh, I was shit. humping strippers, but it wasn't <laughs> Hennessy. Oh. That ain't what you was humping strippers. Exactly, it wasn't Hennessy. It had nothing to do with it. Cody got quiet when the strippers came. Cause I ain't you know, had no money. So he got shot. These niggas like, came in. These niggas, 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 oh, fuck that. I'm glad you brought that shit up. Cause these niggas came in there throwing money and I ain't coming there with shit. I ain't even want to look at those strippers. You knew you was going to the strip club. I came to work. I came to work. I came to work. What the fuck I look like losing my money and I know how much I'm gonna get to be here. I'm not gonna throw no more than that. I can't leave this motherfucker with a deficit. I didn't come in there to throw no money either. I can't leave this motherfucker with a deficit. Fuck that. Shit. I ain't throwing shit. Bitch I came is, to work. Bitch is looking at me like. Bitch got her whole goddamn. What that shit that be putting in the booty? Oh, the butt plug. Yeah. The bitch got her whole diamond butt plug in my yeah. face. I'm like this. She needs some money. Yeah. <laughs> you on the wrong side yeah. of the goddamn section. Damn, Kodak. That yeah. don't mean get quiet when the hoes come. 
So I was going to say that because you was like, you love strippers, right? And I, I, I peeped the same I thing. I see. You got quiet sense, when like, stripper came money, like, I get it. I mean, because the bitch is looking at me trying to be friends with me so I can get the niggas to throw the money. I'm like, bitch, we ain't friends. You know what the fuck you want. And I knew niggas wasn't on that. I'm just Doing looking. That, to be on the mic, get in the section, we all our shit, you know. And and and, and wasn't what, what, what no strippers in there before niggas came. I was like, yo, we got a com we got a comfortable section. We ain't under no pressure. Until y'all came. These motherfuckers come in. Now we gotta goddamn compete. I'm I'm, con shit on I'm contemplating going to my car. I'm contemplating going to my car getting the fake money I got. I was like, damn, these Man, we doing a good job convincing people we get money. We, we, you we doing a good ass job. It wasn't bro. the convincing, you pulled it we out. We left, we, we left. Nigga, you hit me with the motherfucking money. <laughs> First of all, you pulled the money out. And then secondly, like, it was nobody in there throwing money anyway. It was a calm section before you got there. You came in the main motherfucking storm. Yeah. It was a whole calm. They Everybody was calm until y'all came and started that I shit. I told him, Ryan didn't believe I was going. So, he went the magic on me. Yeah. Yeah, y'all yeah, went immediately. Y'all didn't even. I said, fuck this, I'm leaving. <laughs> I said, look, 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 he like, I'm not looking, bro. I ain't, I ain't got, got nothing money. for this bitch. I ain't bitch. got no money for these hoes. He lying, bro. Kodak getting to the paper. No, it ain't the Kodak not getting to the paper. I'm, I'm spending just, my money strategically. We there to work, like. Yeah, what? I know how much I'm gonna get from being there. I can't throw no more than that, or it's gonna be a it's gonna be a dumb admission. Yeah. It did cause conflict what among did? the strippers. What? What did? Oh shit! About who's you know? Cause more who, strippers started what? started oh, showing who, up. Who, who? You came in here, then and we was already here, and yeah, I heard all that. I mean, I'm gonna give a course on how to go to the strip club. It's a whole science to that shit. It Break it down. It definitely is a science to the shit. You gonna give them? You gonna give them? Hey man, the sauce. First of all, that's the whole thing about going to strip club. Is like you gotta act like you've been there before. Like some niggas get too excited too fast. It's usually I have a calmness about you, like like you gotta play it cool, like you ain't really supposed to be in there. But then you gotta have a sense of urgency, like you could leave at any moment. Mm-hmm. I like that. Right. Like mm -hmm. you can't be in that bitch mesmerized, cause that's how you get. That's how you spend your you whole get, shit. That's, that's how yeah. You that's how they. That, cause they can. Finessed. Right. These women mm -hmm. be in here all day, every day. They know who the fuck mm -hmm. the suckers are. The niggas who be in here be like. Man, she like, like, she seen some bitches approach me like I was a sucker. Bitch, hello. How you doing? See? All right, move along. After a while, they're no. going to just stop coming back. <laughs> or they're going to come to the, the, the bitch you next to. Right. Damn it. Which they did. Right. Exactly. Right. Hello, how you doing? Here to work. Mm -mm. It's a whole experience. It is an experience, especially in Atlanta. And it's a law to that shit, for sure. What's the law? Yeah, yeah like you just got to know how to move in a strip club, you right. know, both it's ways. It's, you don't want to be in there giving off creep ass energy. Oh hell nah. Cause it, but it's not even about how you behave or what you're doing. It's just if you just in there and the women feel like you a weirdo. Again, that's what we were talking about earlier. You they can't be around niggas that's scaring the hoes. Right. Yeah, don't the be the nigga time, that's scaring the hoes. Club, you know, is she really trying to get her brain? But you really tripping if here. you scaring the strippers. No, I'm saying, like, be how are you gonna scare? Like, cool with a lot of shit. If you a cuckoo and you got money and I'm a stripper and I'm here working, then and I'm you getting scared, that nigga done did some extraordinary shit. He was trying to kill you. <laughs> or <laughs> like that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, he did some extra weird shit. If you if you scare strippers, you did some extra weird shit. Hey man, you I always mean, every so often you see some weird shit at the strip club where a motherfucker be like, hey man, hey, you can't be doing this shit in here. <laughs> <laughs> You hear that shit, but you wonder yeah. what the nigga done did. Yeah. You don't want to know what he done did. Cause he, you know you done went too far no, when he right. right. nigga in the strip club. Right, so right. when nigga like yell at you. Depending hey. on the hey, bro, <laughs> hey, bro, hey, bro. Don't do that in here. Hey, hey, hey. Not in here, buddy. He had his whole... Hey, hey. Ah. Uh, he had his whole shit. You got to go. Hey, you got to hey, go. Bro. You got to go, man. <laughs> oh, oh, depending on what strip club. Yeah, yeah. It's extra. That's extra. Right, yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> He'll tell you, I used to host the shit at the strip club for years. <laughs> I'm talking about for years. Like, damn near every other night I had mm -hmm. some shit to host at the strip club, man. It's I didn't crazy. that bitch when it got raided. 
whole motherfucking task force in that bitch. Everybody scared. Strippers, niggas, everybody in that bitch. Police <laughs> ran that bitch with dogs, guns, flashlights, helmets, boots, elbow pads, gloves on. Don't fucking move! Don't move! I'm telling you, don't fucking move! What you do? Don't move, nigga! <laughs> What's the top what, of What Hurricane Chris say? I don't care what he say or she say. <laughs> I was in the DJ booth taking pictures with the DJ. <laughs> I seen the whole shit happen. By the time they got to where I was, I already knew the plan. I'm watching the whole shit unfold. Hello. You don't <laughs> move. Man. I'm telling you, don't fucking move. Man. Turn damn. the lights on. I need everybody's ID. Everybody. Who, who said, who said that shit? Turn the lights on. I don't know. Where you was know this? Marietta <laughs> Street? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't seen some wild shit yeah, happening at the strip club. Yeah. It was a little person, little lady, she used to strip all the time. Shout out to the little person strip. She used to jump off stage and shit, see who would catch her. And I hope every, not so everybody would catch her. Yeah. Hamilton night, stripper just, boxing. Oh my God. Stripper boxing. Had the old lady come through. Uh, amateur at the, night. At the amateur night, uh, she got naked and put Christmas lights all over her body and wrapped herself up in some Christmas lights. And that was on her bucket list, huh? Man, nigga was falling out laughing in that bitch. One lady came to the amateur night, her and her daughter did it together. Oh. The mama and the daughter. Damn. Man, we done, I done did some crazy shit in this city. Yeah. Hosted karaoke night at the uh, Claremont Lounge. You remember we used to do yeah, that shit? Yeah, we did that shit. Yeah. Man. Karaoke night at the Claremont Lounge. Camel toe contest. Everything. Ah, moose knuckles. Slap a bitch contest. Kind of like fight night, hell yeah. yeah we sound. <laughs> Shit going on around this Motherfuckers bitch. Motherfuckers really had camel toe contest. Bro. Yeah, fattest pussy win the money. Man. I ain't skinned a pussy, you over here mad? Hey man, them be the nah, ones who win the, the money. <laughs> Pretty hey, pussy you Friday. You Slim box. You fucking prize who win that shit. It ain't always who you <clears throat> think it is. Yo, you know you was paying attention. Nah, it's just, you see, they came and signed up for the shit. I oh, need it. Oh, you was it. the judge? It was like $500. Oh, you was the judge? I need this yeah. money, so Lucius. You had bitches Pussy in your face like this. Man, motherfucker used to come and do the amateur night, try to win that money, then come back and do the camel toe contest to try to win that money. Motherfucker was Oh, they trying to hit. It was oh, like shit. open mic. They trying to win yeah, everything. It's open mic for strippers. Like the, they like, got to get good. Like, like the amateur night strippers, they used to go around to all the clubs because every club amateur night be different. Mm -hmm. So, so you can tell did. who came in that bitch desperate. Like, I gotta get this oh, money. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't just like, oh, save my life. These had motherfuckers who used to just go hard. He'll tell you, we had one motherfucker. She did about twenty backflips in a row off the goddamn stage. Yeah, yeah. But then there was another chick. She came the next week, and then they was having. She doing backflips. She doing backflips. This then climbed up to the center. She hanging upside down and doing push ups and some more shit. These motherfuckers, the motherfuckers they got real talent. Up. Man, but then man. they graduate, and then you see them at a better strip club later on. Yeah, they actually be working. They get the money. Like some clubs would be like, you get the money that you make on stage. Plus, if they the crowd say you win, you will win five hundred, a thousand, whatever. And then they like they'll buy you a permit so you can go work in the strip club shit. That's how they used to do. it. I don't know what they're doing now though. These motherfuckers, they be getting strippers off TikTok. Nah, these hoes be in there doing routines and shit. Like, Bro, that's why I knew I had to what? make it with this <laughs> shit. Because I used to go do all these fucking comedy <laughs> shows. Then afterwards, go host something at the strip club just, just to talk shit and be on the mic. Which is a great place to be. Yeah. Nah, for, for, for sure. I love to talk shit in a room full of, you know. Do you? Like, what kind of shit you be talking? Hmm? Where the niggas with the money at? <laughs> they at home because it's safe. <laughs> right, right. No, they got to no. get up in the morning. They got to <laughs> work. They got a job. Where are they? No. They're everywhere. The niggas with money don't got jobs? Some of them don't. Nah, you can't get Some no money and no job. Yeah, you can be a scammer. That's a job. My bad. No, I'm and saying I'm like, that's a job. My bad. Sorry. See, at a job, the, the reason why you can't make no money at a job is because they know exactly how much they pay you. Like, you can never get a job and it'd be a come up. Because whatever you agreed to, at some point, it'll be short term. It won't never be enough. Unless you capitalize that and make them need you, and then they just keep throwing more money on top, right? Right, but look, just, it's some of those. But it, you, what you're making is never a secret. Right. Mm -hmm. 
So, so you whatever you, like say for instance right now, you hit a lick, you get a job making 350,000 a year. That don't sound like a lot, right? But in three years, that job ain't gonna be enough to pay for your expenses. Well, how, well, how you know that? Because you're going to, your whole lifestyle. You're going to upgrade to a three hundred fifty thousand dollars lifestyle. No, your um, your lifestyle going to be oh, you're saying your five hundred thousand. Yeah, your life well, going to change. Not necessarily because shit, if you shit. if you know your money right and you and you know niggas what you spend don't money know how to spend in. now with no money. It's not even about <laughs> niggas. It's people in general. When I say niggas, I mean people in yeah. general. Because it's like think about it. However long you've been out here going back and forth with your other job. You get this job and you're making all this money. You're going to you're gonna overcompensate the first couple of years of doing this job. And then you're going to accumulate all these new expenses because you're going to buy all this shit that you was working for in the first place. Well, it just depends. It just depends. It depends on what a person values in life. Like, you can't just say People that. value shit. People no, value I don't physical value things. Shit. I don't value physical things. Not yet. You don't? No. Not yet. You got a $2,000 purse. I didn't buy that. But Ooh. that's the thing about it. You that's the thing. That's a whole nother top. I no, no. You see, you see what I'm good. Clay, you see what no, I'm gonna be. That's a gift. No, my nigga bought that. Yeah, like, there you go. But see, that's the saying? thing about it though, is like for a woman, that's an investment. So that let like you were saying earlier, the pe the shit that you don't wanna have to deal with, you don't wanna have to deal with somebody like, who what's like an fuck. What do you mean to like the two thousand dollar purse? Yeah, that's an investment. You have to invest in Exactly. It's like, hey, that's that kind of woman. If you can't um, you know what I'm saying? Like you have to know what you fucking with. That's well, yeah, I get it. But I'm saying if that's if you're that type of person. See me, I don't value that shit. What I value is stacking my fucking bread. So it's like if I know I'm making this amount of money, then I'm gonna build on that. I'm not gonna buy all this extra unne unnecessary shit because I don't like that. I mean, there are some women out there or people out there that like to buy like nice, expensive, extravagant things. Not saying that I don't, but right now, no. Yeah, that's I don't what really I'm saying. Care. Now, <clears throat> at some point, you'll get to. You'll get to wherever you want to get to, right? Mm -hmm. And whatever it is that you spend money on, that's just going to be the shit you spend money on. <clears throat> I know what I spend yeah. money on. But what, once that becomes your life, if you go from like a $70,000 a year life to a goddamn $500,000 a year life, you're going to use the rest of that money. The same way you were stretching 70000 70, you're going to stretch 500000 okay. Right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just going to be the same money with a different zero behind it. Mm -hmm. But all it's, it's still going, you're still going to have to work for it. You still, you, but you're not gonna be able to go back seventy thousand. No, but that makes sense. But see, this is the thing about it, though. When you first start working, you get a little bullshit job. You might make fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a year. But like, once you learn how to make fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a year, you'll always know how to make that. So when you upgrade and you make fifty thousand, you'll always know how to make fifty. If you make a hundred, it's just like whatever number it is that you've made and you know how to. You know what I mean? You know that's within your gr your your grasp and shit. You've done it before. Once you do some shit once, you can definitely do it again. It don't matter if you had a hundred billion dollars and lost it all. You have the knowledge to know how to make that much money. Yeah. I mean, I hope this shit don't happen though. What? Make that much money and lose it. It's quite possible. No, I know. You might make motherfuckers who actually make that much money today always want to give it away. So it's not just about the money. Or they made it the wrong way. Right. Mm -hmm. Every every amount has their own set of problems that come with that shit. A nigga who only had $10,000 can't tell you making their problem. And a nigga who got a million can't tell you what a nigga who got a billion is going through. And so on. And whatever your number is, that's, that's your shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's that. niggas who are fucking rich as fuck. Need they check the same way a nigga who got to work Friday needed. I mean, basically, you saying manage your money. I'm saying well, however much you have, Ain't gonna be manage enough. that shit. You, it's gonna He's be the same it's, fucking thing. It's not thing. gonna be enough. It's gonna yeah. always. You think it's a larger number, but it ain't. Because you, right. you gonna use that, that shit that the same way. What you should say. I see how that however, you book. could invest to make more money while right. you're not working. Get your yeah. See, yeah. all that shit sound good. But people don't even know what that means to invest. They think it's some shit that you gotta go hey. and talk to some people <laughs> and write your name. No, it ain't even about that. Investing is only 
it only means that put your money somewhere where you can make money. Whatever it is that you... And that's different from putting it in the right. bank now. Yeah. And, that, and it varies from person yeah. to person. Yeah. That don't mean go try to take on an industry that you don't know nothing about because you're going to lose money, as you would in anything that you don't know something about. Yeah. So however you got this money, you as a, you know, as a consumer, you have to look at where you spend money, and then you have to try to find a way to make money off the money that you spend. And I spent a lot, I done had some sickening months. You bought a, a few BBFs? No, I, I'm just saying, just regular shit. That's my I goal in life, shit. to buy one BBF. If you ever want to scare the shit out yourself, that. download this mm -mm. app called True Bill, and that shit will tell you all the money you spend in a month. Mm -mm. No. Why, why you don't want to buy a BBF? Because I, I don't think shit I like be saying. That'll start controversy. I don't think I, I don't think I'm I don't mm -mm. I'm gonna take what you got. I, that's, that's what if my, you that. love her? She's had kids and, and she lost all her shit, babe. Please, like, can you just? I, I want to get like two or three BBLs in my lifetime. She so she lost her ass. Yeah, like she it was never her. Girl, maybe. No, she, but like no. her body got bad. <laughs> maybe, huh? yeah, her, her body, body got bad. When she had like kids and she just lost herself. And that's gonna help her go to the, the, the DR. Yeah. Motherfucker be low confidence. Shit, no. they, they need somebody. So why you want to pay for a girl BBL? Because she's just going to use you for that BBL, not fucking you. Just do it, man. It, just do it. Why you waiting on it? What's stopping you now? Money, nigga. I ain't got no B buy BBL money. Shit, that shit costs. And How you ain't even got it yet, and you already know that you're going to spend it on exactly. that. How much is the cheap one that he don't look good? No, nah, I don't want to get the cheap one. I don't want to get the cheap one. I don't see so what the cheap one get, do. So the cheap one that don't look good, what do they start at? What do they start at, and what 600? is the top tier? 600? No. He said something about 600. I said, hell ain't no fucking fuck one. And then, and then the real one costs, what, five? Five bands? I'm going to say, no, hell no. We're going to say, like, a. Uh, what, what is happening? About five. What's happening though? What is getting done? And then you say done? that. To be honest, I don't even no, know. No, they're going to do like. They're going to suck the fat out of your body. They're going to do the titties. They're going to do the They're going to do the titties, the stomach, and the ass, and then they're going to put the stomach up a little bit. No, the then titties gonna, is separate. Oh, I thought the titties came in there. No, so the BBL, with BBL is just just the ass part. And then you have like the, you know? the lipo. Nigga, because I'm a female. She a woman. They, they, walk, they look at all this shit. I don't, I don't, I've never looked at it. I just heard multiple conversations. I did bottle service. <coughs> Basically, they're going to rebuild your shit. So they're going to take your fat from your stomach, snatch that bitch, then take the fat and then put it in your ass. And then pull your ass up. Right. And like a pair of pants. And then some ladies might even, you know, get... get um, pull your ass up like a pair of jogging pants. Like, them <laughs> Put them drawers in your booty. Ladies, if you need some fat for a BBL, I'm trying to donate they some do shit. That. I'm they trying to do that. take that shit out your donate stomach that and put shit. it in somebody else. No, oh, man. They said it. That's no. cool. Yeah, like, oh, shit. I'm about to be snatched. I'm about to be snatched this song. They're not doing that. That's, That's crazy. crazy. You, you take this shit. I'm out of here. That's crazy. They take titty me, too. Man, you gonna get a whole body, bro. You gonna get a BBL. <laughs> I'm gonna give all this shit away. <laughs> That's why he said he wanted to have two of them. One of them was for him. <laughs> I'm being a goodwill for BBL. That's what you gonna do though? You really gonna buy a little chick a body? Yeah, one. At least one. One? That's yeah. real genuine. You know, so you you know that. gonna be popping after this episode. For real. You need hey, to go ahead daddy. and go and get the bread up. Yeah. Hey, Amen. What I gotta do for that BBL? I don't think you're gonna find as much satisfaction in it as you think, but I'm not here but to But it's a lot of shit dream. you get. What? What? But it's a lot of shit you get in life that don't satisfy you the way you thought it was. That's a part of life. What mm. qualifies these women to get a BBL? Like, what mm -hmm. are the what are, are these the chicks that you mess with already and you promise I, them? I or? prefer to be somebody who I beat already. Damn. Um, what are the qualifications? Yeah, you just giving one out if you didn't. That's one. Right. Yeah. yeah. Or or on the hopes of that. Do you I gotta think, fuck with you. Happen. Do you think she gonna be fine? What if you fuck around and you pay for it? And, she and then she it. feel like she too fine to fuck with you? Yeah. That's hey man, that's life. Life happens. Yeah. But, if I'm at, but, but if I'm in a situation where I can pay for a chick BBL, I'm obviously at a good point in life. Uh -huh. Why do so you a you one of them trick niggas you be talking about? The yeah, you tricking you be, though. The ones that you be talking about. All the How time. am I a trick? Because you want to oh, save up the trick. Oh, pay for somebody's BBL. Duh, like we you know got there's niggas trick out there aspiration. like that. No, I got trick traits. I'm not a trick. <laughs> oh, <man>. What? <laughs> I got, trick, trick. Trick, trick, or trick. I got trick traits. So you're saying you basically <laughs> the same way. Right, hold on, let, let, let no, me no, 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 let me tell you. Let me no. stop. Let me stop you there. No. Cause you know the same way I be saying no. I don't be like buy bitches lunch. If no. I like a bitch, I buy her lunch. You don't what? You don't buy what? I don't be buying like dinners and lunches and Why shit not? like. 
For, if I don't fuck That's with you like that. That's the least you could do. If, I don't, if I don't fuck with you like that. Bro, are you cheating yourself because you a big dude, right? Women fuck with big niggas because they know at the, if nothing else that they going to eat. How you gonna fuck up the big nigga tradition of feeding? Big niggas have been feeding women for nothing for years. And here you gonna come through with a bad bitch attitude like you not a big dude. You I should, am a bad bitch. You're supposed to feed women. It. You a big nigga. You gonna eat anyway. I am, but you gonna watch yeah. or you gonna get down? You gotta no, be a man. Hey, man. Your, your thing is is. Tell, you, me about, tell me about me, Dr. You, Phil. Yeah. You, you wanna, you you wanna are... get shit without giving nothing. Why are you rubbing That's my one. kneecap so hard? That's one. What? But what you want to, you're a trick, but you choose who you trick off to. Why the fuck wouldn't I? I'm just saying, but you still a trick, I though. I feel like you were going to trick regardless. So if that's, if that's, if I that's feel how like you feel, the bitch, like, I feel like you was going to trick either way. That's why that bitch yeah. charged you. Which yeah. one? Because you got trick tendencies. Which one? So she wanted to see if you was going to be a trick. Which to one? You know when you be on social media and you see, like, a crazy-looking ass woman she be talking about? And he do this shit and then he's like, who are these niggas? <laughs> 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 nah, that ain't me. I, I trick on motherfuckers I know. I follow you. So you a trick? I seen you in action. We, is, is there something wrong with tricking on motherfuckers you fuck with? Oh, no. Nope. Women you fuck it with? It ain't nothing wrong. It's whether you fucking on them or not. Trick. I just want you if to you admit a trick, it. trick anyway. Don't just trick and want something back. That's the wrong. No, if I fuck with you, I don't if want nothing tr- back. You ain't got to fuck with it. If you a trick, just trick. It got to be somebody who I fuck with. Nah, so see, you, you trying to buy a pussy and trying to disguise it with your. <laughs> Was a cover. You really yeah. got it. You yeah. trying to spend money and security yeah. for Undercover. You really on some weasel shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's wrong with tricking if I'm fucking with you? That ain't tricking then. You, now you a cake daddy. Cake, all right, I'll take that in. Yeah, you, you, know, daddy. Daddy. you just want to keep the bitch happy. Yeah, right. give me the pussy. You trying to exchange shit for pussy. That's selfish. How's that selfish? You'll grow out of that. Because at some point, you gonna be trying to do that shit with women who don't play that game, and then you gonna run out of ammo, cause you don't. Be, you gonna be that bulk pussy in your whole little circle. I can't. I, nah, now I'm your name you bad. I'm tell you why I can't buy. <laughs> now you can't what? even buy pussy from a prostitute. <laughs> Your name is dirty. dirty that time you pulled that shit on the wrong motherfucker, she told you about yourself. It's going to echo out. Man, I can't buy pussy because I can't. I you can't. just told us that you be trying nah. to covertly buy pussy. That's not covertly buy yes, pussy. That's what do you call me. that? What? That sneak trick and shit he was talking about. <laughs> if you're exchanging gifts I get you and love, favors bro. I get for you sexual shit, and then you, fuck. you are buying pussy. So you think every nigga that buy gifts be buying pussy? If, if they you bought us something before you have sex, you bought that pussy. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Oh, okay. Buy as in what? As Buy in, as, as in, in cha-ching. As gifts, in, tricking, on. shopping, whatever her heart desires. Yes, no, BBL. No, 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 no. We know the BBLs and like the shopping sprees and shit, but that's what we talk about. Just that, right? Because you said anytime you spend money, on a girl, you pay I for said, pussy. if you out here spending money on a woman in hopes of having sex with her, mm-hmm. you tricking. But you buying pussy. But isn't every man, like, when they approach a girl, thinking about fucking her? Yeah, but he not thinking about what he can buy her in hopes of getting her I'm not thinking bed. about what I can buy, bitch. You just said you're going to no, be no, saving. No. You said, said you will. have hopes and aspirations <laughs> to buy, bitch. He at least said he won't no, buy, 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 buy a chick of BBL. That's for me. He all said right. he that's wants your personal goals. Personal that's a personal goals. goals. He wouldn't have okay. enough money to eventually buy Yeah, that's business. for me. Nah, if, if she fucking out, you know, shit, it is what it is. What? I would hope that she do, but if but she don't, it's not going to bother me. What? You got to you gotta fuck her before the BBL. You can't give her the BBL and be like, now nah, I hope she Right. Fuck that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's you my did point. it. Yeah. That's what you that, what she yeah, described yeah, as tricky. What she described as tricky. No, I said the same exact shit. If you out here trying to use gifts and money, yeah, you trying to use the BBL. That's fine, pussy. What I said was, was, if I if I get it, and she like, I I want to get this nigga what pussy. What you and like, where are you at in life? What you out here got to be optimistic for the pussy? You never know. <laughs> you never know. 
know. I always know, nigga. You got superpowers. I always know. You got some. You out here before, bad right. shit, hoping you get some pussy. Ooh, Fingers crossed, nigga. <laughs> then why not just catch a bitch who already got a BBL instead of putting your money on the money? He don't, he don't believe in himself that much. Yeah. He don't believe that. Oh, bitch, you, you want to be a you want to be the hero. He want to be yeah. The what's the name range be too high for the motherfuckers? He want to be the hero. Kodak is just very, very fucking picky. He's just picky. I can't see him having a lot of options. No, he doesn't. He does why? God what? damn. What the fuck? Why would you feel that? I don't, I don't see no bad bitch being like, ooh, I don't go that you give me. Okay, that's fucked up. Because, that's fucked up. Because that's cold. I witnessed. That's cold as fuck. I got you. I got you, bro. You know I got you. Hold it down. Hold it down. Come on, please. Please, hold it down. Nah, I'm going to be 100 because you know, uh, motherfucker is gonna think that off rib. You know, you look, you see Kodak, you know. He, he the nigga. You're not making it no better. Man, I seen this nigga. But, that nigga ain't got no hoes. Shit, I seen motherfuckers that fucked up. You might have seen him. somebody he was fucking. He ain't got no hoes. What's the difference between fucking and having You know the difference. What I'm saying is, is I don't care about the hoes that he got. I know the hoes that he had and the ones that's oh, on his line. We all had some hoes. What, what I'm, t- I'm just Thank saying. Thank you, like, my nigga. Got them. I'm just saying he got hoes now. Hold your man. 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 You ain't like, like, I shouldn't be judging you off your appearance. Shit. I'm just I, saying. I, I, look, <laughs> I, look, like, I look like I don't get hoes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, I, I literally know. couldn't see no hoes really being fucked up about you. Yeah. Like, what about me make you think I don't get busy? <laughs> Everything. Don't do fat. No. <laughs> you just don't look like the type of nigga hoes give a fuck about. <laughs> okay, give me, oh, give me, give me an idea of a nigga who, who you think hoes give yeah, a fuck about. Yeah, who you think get busy? Like, what is it? Who claims like you get busy? Yeah. <laughs> nah, we not going to talk. I see him in action. He a life skin nigga with her. He giving um. He was getting hoes with no hair. Nah, I've been knowing this nigga almost twenty years. Hoes have felt the same Damn, about this the nigga name? the entire time. Damn, I forgot I that name. I've seen this nigga get hoes in Kennesaw. He got some hoes in Riverdale. One time, me and this nigga pulled up and we got a whole car full. Of Carload of hoes. It was just me and him. We got all the hoes numbers. I was Nate Dogg and Warren G in that motherfucker. And we just was picking up. We was playing Switchboard. What she talking about? Man, we had pulled off some Call of Duty missions. (laughs) (laughs) I had fucked with a big crazy cousin for a whole summer just Uh, cuz. That shit funny. Uh, No cap. No cap. Hoes love this. It is. Kodak, don't be trying to call some hoes and be like, call my phone. (laughs) I saw you. Text me, text me right quick. Blow those things I got in the hole. I'm just fucking with you, bro. We, you Man, that shit funny as fuck. That shit funny You think as I would just sit here and, and not say that? Of course you Nah, got that hoes. shit funny as hell. You got oh, hoes, Kodak. I'm sorry, God bro. Damn. I don't want you to be like, damn, my nigga Lowe's don't think I get in the Nah, hole. that's what's gonna motivate. She know me. That's what's gonna motivate me to get more bitches. I know. Wow. But I seen how you was acting when the hoes came around. Though. I did too. You I did freeze that, up. I, that, but I, I didn't freeze up, nigga. I didn't have no money. Your no energy was it not. Gave, it gave nah, because the nigga up. who get hoes gonna get them with this money or without money. Nah, because I know the bitches better work. See, money is your crutch, Kodak. Mm-hmm. You think you can't rely you on scared. it. I don't know if you grew up around some prostitution or something, but you <laughs> always equate uh, hoes and money and sex and money. Nah, because I anything involving women, you bring up some money. Not just, nah, not you women. You need a shot of free it was, pussy. It was, it was just a strip. Somebody need to get you some pussy just off the fact that they like you. You been oh, buying all this Craig. industry pussy? Back page pussy. Well, Craig, listen, I know listen. what you been doing with your entertainment money. Hey, man. Why you keeping glasses on? I don't know what he looked like. He wear glasses all the time. He hey. be pulling up in a van. He like the fuck in the van. <laughs> Like that nigga that a fucking bitch in the van. Why you make your face? He got a nasty van. He ride around. Why you just make That's fucked up. I got a Jeep. <laughs> yeah. But ain't yeah. the two seats. Ain't the two seats. No, man. He didn't jump the seats out in the middle. It's a Jeep. It's a mail truck. <laughs> man. No, that's no, crazy. Cody, no, man. Shit. I ain't freeze up, man. I know the whole wanted some money. I ain't had shit for him. No, but that's true though. If you would like, you know what I'm saying. But I was talking. I was. I was conversating with the bitch before. Right. No, you were. You gotta get some free. You know. You know what I'm saying. Pat me up, nigga. I want throwing no money. That's <laughs> the last thing a bitch who wants some money want to do is talk. 
Hey, that was like, hey, what's up, bitch? Did hey. you do that in there? Like, I was talking to him. Like, no, you. No, nah, they'll talk to you when you ain't got no money, just to be around the money. Right? Yeah, they'll bitch. Talk to somebody I let her hit the hookah. Shit, do what you do. Mark, I'm like, what are you yeah. doing? Why is she smoking the hookah? Right. <laughs> bitch, hey, because that's that's all I have to offer right now. I'm like, what the fuck? That's it. You hit this hookah. That's it. You gone. I'm letting her hit the hookah. Fuck oh, no. This bitch is getting her dance. Bro, we got that. She what? ate my wings. <laughs> I'm like, shit, what else, what else she gonna be over here for? Fuck. She's trying to get some money. That's what she was over there for. Shit. Yeah. I, I, all I had to offer was the blueberry mint. That's it. That's nah, it. that's facts, but shit, motherfuckers went there to Yeah, man, money. you gotta stop paying all this shit, though, man. You gotta oh, just man. find some hoes who like you because of your style and your swag. Oh. I don't approve of Kodak ain't Let the, Kodak, look, no, don't believe Kodak, these niggas. Kodak, I, Do I, that in me in public. I didn't doubt you. I don't got no bitches. I didn't doubt you. I don't approve and, of your men. I'm standing. No I'm standing. You have exposed yourself to me. You are tricking off. I did not doubt you. When I, and I've said that shit publicly a lot of times. You exchange and give. If I like a bitch, I'm going to spend money on you. With sexual favors. If I like you, I'm going to spend money on you. That's why you be like, just make it transactional. Make it transactional. It like shit. That's why you so pro that it makes sense now mm -mm. don't try to make me feel like you like me bitch what you want you what you want i'm gonna do it because i'm gonna pay for it girl like shit. Want, me, me, i'll do it for you mm -mm. they only want they want a light bill some, some bitches are simple okay mm -hmm. hello it is need a little help yeah just a little help you don't want love you want help just say that one mortgage Okay, you gon' that you shit happen. No, you gonna start getting exactly what you asking for, and it's yeah. gonna terrify. No, 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 no. Cause that shit actually, that's that's no. What you saying? Had, shit, that's a true story. But it's yeah. about to start happening. It, 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 I, right. me, I was talking, I was talking to this chick. I thought shit. I thought she liked the nigga. No, nope. she, she got there. We get to the juicy crab. She's like, yo, you know, we want to make it official. You gotta pay my mortgage. What? What? Two checks, please. Fuck you some Out of here. That's I ain't never heard from her again. She want to You're make. You're not supposed to. What? That wasn't again. the first time I, I she tried him, though. That wasn't the first time she tried. Nah, him. yeah, the first what? time. The first time, the first time it didn't feel like a try. You think that's bad? Mm-mm. What? I took a chick to Ruth Chris one time. You remember when Ruth Chris was expensive and shit? It's it's still it's still you sitting there eating and a nigga walked by. Shit. The price. And a nigga covered up her eyes and said, "Guess who?" Oh. No. Why are you sitting there with her? Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's over with. It's over with. <laughs> Nigga played peekaboo. Yeah, bro, that was back when I was dating. I don't date. What well, Drake say? I know the type of hugs. Hey, what about that one girl that was that was uh? Guess who? I'm taking that. What happened? Nigga, his di Nigga his dick on her shoulder. <laughs> that one girl was super hungry. She oh, ordered. Yeah. She ordered like two things to eat, and then she ordered like shit to go. Yeah. What well, she was from overseas or something? Hell yeah. What I remember I tell her, I said that shit on her one time about the girl who ate them big ass burgers. <laughs> when we went and got them burgers, she ate all, she ate hers. Them burgers was big as shit. Like she ate hers and like mine. And she took some to go? Yeah. For her nigga. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck she took it for. for you fuck with BBWs? No, nah, she wasn't even a big girl. That's the crazy thing about it. I fuck with BBWs. Is that a turn off? In days. No, it ain't. It ain't that. that nah, bitch, you greedy. That That's a turn off. That time, it was like, I was, I uh, uh that was just too much. She was doing two too burgers much. and a to go burger. Bitch, you're hungry. You're but starving. Was right. Crazy. And this is the thing about it though. It's like, don't nobody want somebody who need to be needed. You get what I'm saying? Like, well, yeah. You don't want to fuck with somebody who you feel like needs you. Like, without you, they don't have a means to an end. That's a very strange position to be in. Yeah, it is. Unless you like being used. And that's you have to be comfortable <coughs> with that to a certain degree to be with anybody. Because there's certain shit that you're going to have to do to accommodate another person that you're dealing with that you wouldn't normally have to do if you were just by yourself. Yeah. And then once you feel like you're doing more than the other person is, that's when shit start getting real fucking complicated. I just think nowadays, if you're trying to talk to somebody, date somebody, that shit gonna be complicated anyway. I, to be honest, right now, I wouldn't know like who to trust, not because of any trauma or whatever, but just everything that's going on. That's like, why you I gotta keep it 1,000 with yourself just... and not be out here trusting motherfuckers. But that's what I'm saying. How are you some people to you can trust, if you can't trust around somebody? shit. Some people, they might not steal your money, but yeah. they might cross you in another way. Y'all want some water or something? I'm saying that. You got some. I'm 
say it in any kind of way. Um, Money, emotion, I don't get, whatever. I, don't I feel like honest. trust is a is a case by case scenario anyway. I don't want to be put in a position where I got to keep relying on how much I trust you. It's got to be shown through action. Yeah, why the fuck you keep putting me in a position where I got to trust you? The fuck is you doing out here? I'm saying, but are you going to trust somebody off rip or are you going to not trust them? Trust is earned. No, I, mean, I feel like you got to give people the benefit of the doubt sometimes. That's too. trust. <clears throat> sometimes you got to give the benefit of the doubt. Benefit of the doubt is trust. But I'm saying, if you with a motherfucker and you know exactly what you getting, but if you meet somebody new, you got to give them the benefit of the doubt that you ain't dealt with them right now. You know what I mean? Like, you never dealt with them before. So you don't know what the fuck this going to look like. You know so you mean? have to trust. Yeah, until they give you a reason not to. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. You have to trust them first and then... Right, and once you they fuck the trust up. But some people don't go that way. Some people don't trust you, and then you got to earn trust. Fuck earning trust. Don't put me in a position where I need to trust you. That you... That. Oh, okay, I got you. You get what I'm saying? Like, don't don't keep putting me out there like that. You trust me, don't you? No. <laughs> Not when you keep saying it like no, that. No, I don't. Yeah, as a matter right. of fact, <laughs> do I think you still? <laughs> no. Do I think you a lying ass motherfucker? <laughs> low? Yes. <laughs> I trust you around shit and things, but I don't right. trust what the fuck you saying and doing. Right. Mm -hmm. Trust could go a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. I trust you when I see you. I don't know what the fuck you be up to. Shit, trust right. is still trust. I don't care. No, nah, it depends. It is, is. Is, is, is it trust or is a nigga just comfortable with you? Nah, I think that's some, that's a it's a fucking it's an illusion. Trust, trust is, is an, an illusion. illusion. Hell yeah. Think of the motherfuckers you used to trust until you didn't trust them no more. Trust is an illusion. Exactly. You, everybody you done dealt with, you trusted them until mm -hmm. you didn't trust them no fucking more. Mm -hmm. Now you're like, I wouldn't From trust that motherfucker you. as far as I can see him. Yeah. Yeah. But at some point, they had your dumb ass out there believing everything they said. Yeah, that shit definitely lose you, because that's some... What? Hell yeah. Get a motherfucker to trust yeah. you, you in. <clears throat> but that's the thing about trust. In, in somebody's story, you the villain anyway. Don't matter oh, who tells the story. Oh, nigga, the more story, successful man. you are, the more villain stories you got. Oh, man. Everybody you ever fucked with is someone telling somebody that it is. You really a fuck nigga. But that's how the manipulation works. Right. Uh, mm. Because if they trust you, that's how they manipulate you. If you I, trust them, yeah. I have a problem with, like, trusting people. Look, so with me, I have a history of just being very, very trusting and just getting my shit just, I just get smacked in the face every time. So that being said, like, I had my best friend. Who hit you? Like, she did some wild shit. Like, my fucking best friend, like, right up under, didn't even know type shit. And I've had, like, multiple shit, like, motherfuckers, up, like, cross me and shit. So, or or not earn my trust. So, am I supposed to keep trusting? You know, no, not her. Or am I supposed to just be like, not her? You can be guarded, hell yeah. Okay, so you say that right now. Say she guarded. Now she dealing with a nigga, and the nigga think that she too guarded. But he gotta know what what caused that shit. Like, he don't. Even he don't he gotta do know. know shit. He'll never know. <laughs> Cause then, no. Nah. When you fucking with somebody, you can say all this so shit. So you got to reset every time you fuck no, with somebody? it ain't what that you're going to reset. It's just that you're going to only tell them shit on a need, no basis. You're not about to show up and be a fucking open book and like a fucking, this is me. This is what I need. This is what happened to my guys, last year. This is why I'm fucked up at. No, nah, man. Some guys, though, they be like, oh, you too hard. Like, let me in. Like, I'm not gonna hurt you, ah. And then they be like, see, that's why you can't love a woman. Cause she just be, she got her walls built up. The whole time she really just protecting herself. Niggas she only gonna say shit. what the last thing they heard. You say a lot of this shit and don't even know what it mean. These women be telling you exactly what the fuck be wrong with them. They ain't trying to hear it. Niggas be done forget all about this shit. Okay. <laughs> How? Man, listen to what the fuck these women be telling you about the niggas that they deal with. Sometimes it's like, it ain't even just about a man being a man. Women understand that a man has certain shit that he gonna do to be a man. But a lot of the shit they be telling you, they tell you exactly what they trauma come from. 
Sometimes they don't. Exactly, but it's like sometimes they do. Like some of these motherfuckers a lot lying to them or set them off. Some women don't like to be left. Like they will argue with you all day, but if you leave, they're gonna feel like you leaving. It's all these, and that's what I'm saying, ain't none of this shit gonna work on everybody. You just have to know who the fuck you're dealing with. Mm. Some people can Gosh. argue, get mad, leave, drive, come back 20 minutes. Everything fine. Some motherfuckers gonna look at you leaving as you saying fuck them. And get your shit and get the fuck out. Yeah. Don't give a fuck what we arguing about. Don't ever leave me. I told you I've been left ever since I was little. My folks, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know what's gonna trigger these crazy ass people. Which is why shit over it for everybody. Exactly. Just fuck all these niggas, huh? Like, <laughs> fuck all you hoes. Get a grip, motherfucker. Just... That's the thing. Everybody got their own trauma, though. You ain't never gonna find somebody who ain't, you ain't got to goddamn work with. Ain't nobody perfect. Everybody think that the next motherfucker is gonna be better than the last one. <clears throat> and it's just not true. It's everybody got some shit about them that aggravates the fuck out of somebody. Yeah. But you gonna find somebody who gonna just fuck with all that shit. But, you but niggas gonna... will find that shit and still be like, mm, I could be better. See, this the thing about them. A lot of times, like, <laughs> men, men will decide, like, all right, ain't no way she had because this ain't good enough. But not knowing that it is. So once you decide that what I'm doing ain't good enough and fuck this shit, that's what the fuck gonna happen. You sometimes, like, it be like you ain't gonna believe that somebody fuck with all the flaws that you see in yourself. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And like I was saying, sometimes you what you think are flaws is not the shit that other people that you're fucking with or somebody from the outside would perceive as flaws. You get what I'm saying? You don't meet your people that you more the people so that you compatible click with. with than others. Like, And that's not going to be the motherfucker you grew be, up with. You know. You but, never know. You man. can be the motherfucker tonight and y'all click like you've been knowing them your whole life. Mm-hmm. But it is somebody you can know your whole life that you would never have that type of bond with. Yeah, Some people just they they just y'all close because y'all <laughs> y'all y'all close because y'all close really. Yeah. And they grew up. But that's like I think that's how this shit is really set up. Facts. You ain't really just supposed to have one motherfucker in your life because you learn a lot about yourself from the people that you deal with, whether you fuck them or not, or you know you get when involved you say with one them or not. In your life, you mean? Monogamy? I'm just saying, it, that's not the path that everybody's supposed to take. Everybody ain't getting married. We can face the, the reality of this shit. Everybody ain't gonna find their soulmate. It's gonna be motherfuckers out here single until they leave this bitch. That's just life. Everybody ain't gonna get the experience of that shit. I mean, do you feel like that, like, now? Or you been felt like that? I think that's just the reality of the situation. Of the situation now. Of life. <clears throat> so you think... In life, that it's a higher chance for you to be single than it is for you to find your, your soulmate? No, I just think that it's going to be a certain group of, of a higher percentage of people who not going to do anything to find anybody. They're going to choose, at some point, motherfuckers going to choose their own happiness over being with somebody else. One thing about it, I'm definitely choosing my happiness. But really? you want to be with somebody, though. Okay. Yeah, eventually I would like to But well, see, that's that. the thing but about I, it. Being I with somebody be else, you shouldn't have to sacrifice your happiness. That's right, they no. supposed. It's just like, that shit is it's supposed to just Hell go no. together. If they don't make your shit better, that's not who you want to fuck with. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You don't want to have to fuck with somebody you got to work on. They got all these goddamn problems and social anxieties and shit that they keep dragging from relationship to relationship. Not realizing that you the fucking problem. Everybody that you fuck with, without you. it though. But then again, everybody that you fuck with cheat on you. Everybody that you fuck with leave you. Why? Why crazy. the fuck is everybody doing the same shit? It's you. Mm-hmm. Common denominator. <clears throat> denominator. Accountability is a motherfucker, and it take a lot of growing up to realize that you can look back at the what the you know even at your own shit and be like, <coughs> okay. That shit was childish. I definitely said that earlier. You grow you out of that. a lot of your own bad behaviors, but then you start reaching a point where it's just like some shit just non-negotiable. I'm not dealing with nobody who do this shit ever again. 
Like, you know what your deal breakers are. I don't fuck with nobody that drink. I don't fuck with nobody that smoke. I don't want to fuck with nobody who in the industry, who work at the club, who sell drugs, who in the game. Whatever it is that you going to say that you will never do again, you be like, no, fuck it. I don't give a fuck who it is. There ain't no exception to this shit. Then you start, like, sneaking motherfuckers in, and then you be like, see, you start that's why exceptions. Oh. Yeah. Because I definitely said I won't fuck with no industry bitches. Oh, now you fucking with industry bitch. See, he trying to go back and let me know he got them hoes on the low. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't good. Hey, man, the people that know, know. I know, yo. <laughs> you don't want no industry chick? The motherfucker be complicated. What if you was fucking with a chick, right? And her favorite rapper was your homeboy? You're not fucking with her. I actually had that shit happen. And you didn't fuck with her? No, nah, I couldn't. I mean, this is a motherfucker who I was trying to date, and I found out later she was a hoe, like a real hoe. Why wouldn't you date her? I, I, I was trying to. Why? But I'm saying you but, let her being a hoe stop you from dating? Yeah, Kodak don't, yeah. Kodak don't want to settle down with a, with a hoe. For sure, because I feel like she, like she, her favorite, like her on her bucket list was hitting what? a rapper. How that, you know Any this? rapper. She who was that comfortable, like. She said her bucket list so was So you was what? already kicking it with her? And then you found out she was a hoe? Hold on, her bucket list was what? F fucking this rapper. Like, we was, friend, we was friends first. Oh, man, the thing on my, on my bucket you list is I You was friends with her, but so you didn't know she was a hoe? I didn't, nah. I, 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 no, like, sometimes the red flag was like six flags or so well, shit. she said she... What, what her being a hoe have to do with you not fucking with her? Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you fuck with her she a hoe? Nah, because I don't want to fuck with a hoe. That's real childish, Kodak. How's that childish? Do you, how old are you? 31. You 31? Yeah. Do you understand if you meet a chick who's 31, right, that had started having sex when she was 15, 16 years Whoa, old? Whoa! Wait a minute. That's 15 whole years of dicks that she mm -hmm. didn't have. Yeah. So at 31, pretty much everyone's a hoe, Kodak. I've been fucking for over 15 years. You know how many dicks that is? You talking about... Motherfucker that be fucking, that you be fucking in relation, they fuck people they like. Ooh, ooh. Why are you this trying to you count how many that people know. that she fucked? I'm not trying to count. I'm you saying. Are, you said she was a hoe. Are you saying? I don't know the bodies and no shit like that. Well, when I, when I say hoe. How did you find out she was a hoe? Somebody told out. you that, right? Nah, I just started paying more, playing, paying closer attention. Well, oh. Now, when I say, when I say hoe, I mean, you can fuck if it's this dollar amount. For money. Yeah. But you That's was, where it you come was from. attracted to her. <laughs> That's where it come from. Hoes need boyfriends That's the root. too. They do. That's the root. Nigga, you're attracting them. You the one who's How? trying because to buy How? Because you the one who's trying to buy the shit. That's what <laughs> I was telling you earlier. No, ice cream, you ice, cream, ice cream, ice cream, hiking ass ice cream. What you no, fucking I don't have any pay for? Ice cream. You been buying pussy and now I'm like, well shit, if you buying pussy, you might as well buy some pussy from somebody that you trust. <laughs> Your girlfriend. <laughs> Hey man, at the end of the day, we was talking about. And what? you still laid up with her anyway. Laid up. Yeah, talking with the bitch and shit. She's a hoe. <laughs> Didn't have no idea. She cool. Hoes be cool. That's right. Let me not. Yeah. Let me not. Let me yeah. not, let me not yeah. goddamn say that shit. First Hoes all, be cool. Yeah. First of all, what is a hoe? They are. You give me two hundred dollars, you can get your dick sucked right now. Hoe. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's the type of you up was hanging night. with. I don't know her price. I ain't no, seen her. No, I'm saying like that's see that was real she shit. was more professional. Nope, in you gotta law, take some that's accountability. Process, that's a reflection that's a on yourself. According How to the law, because your self esteem low. How am I self esteem? Because you out here, you believe it in you yourself. You out here having conversations about dreams and hopes with hoes. Hoes not worth having dream a conversation about dreams and hopes with. You hopes gotta with. want more for yourself. Fuck you these said, hoes. What he said. Hoes matter. You said that she out here doing two hundred dollar blowjobs and shit. That was just I don't know if that was her real price. That was just a number I threw out. I don't know her menu. She could have had specials on that motherfucker or something. I don't know. Well, but you was how close to tell the truth, keep it all the way real. How close were you to being her boyfriend? Shit. Tell she, the truth. She was finessing you. Probably was. Uh, yeah, because you was a true. But how Probably close were you to being her man? Man, I probably, maybe 50, 60% there. Wow. You got a little too, How long y'all was talking? 
Yep, keep Probably it half of summer. You got a little toothbrush. Oh, that's about 50, 60 percent. And y'all was talking for a half a summer? Nigga, the summer only like what? Four. Half of that is two months. Uh, right. Yeah, two months. So y'all was talking in two months and you was finna be her nigga? Yep. Boy bye. Anyway, man, she got down. Her on her bucket list was fucking like a, a rapper that like everybody knows. Did you fuck? Nah, I ain't even beat. Wait, see, that's you niggas. You, you niggas. Oh, no wait, money. wait, wait. You niggas is terrible. How you gonna call a bitch a hoe and you ain't even fuck? <laughs> She's a hoe. <laughs> Cause I ain't no, fuck. Don't mean you a hoe. Uh, don't mean you not a hoe. No, <laughs> Hell no, Stop bro. fucking clapping. You can't right, call her a hoe and She me. is a hoe. You can't say that. You can't call her a hoe because you didn't fuck. That's, like, that's it, bro. That's you a hating ass nigga. You can't do that shit. Just because like oh. I don't see the trees in the forest don't mean it's not a fucking forest. No. <laughs> now that's true too now. Just because I don't see the trees in the motherfucking forest. Just because I don't see the ants point. in the ground okay. don't mean it ain't a fucking ant here. Okay. You got a point there now. Bro. Okay. She was still a hoe just because I ain't beat. No. Nah. Okay, okay. That hoe existed outside of my spectrum but of reality. But if she was a hoe, why would you not? Pay her so she can fuck you. Because I didn't know at the time. But when Had you... I known when I was laid up in the apartment, I was like, you know what? I got 150 right here. Wow. Let me rub my dick on your so you mean to tell me apartment? That, So you mean to tell me you <laughs> in, the, in the apartment laid up with a hoe? And don't know she a hoe. Don't know she don't a hoe. Don't know. You like her. You watch trying it. To, you trying to make you her like watch her. Watch Amazon hood film. And she clearly feels some type of way about you when she letting you goddamn come through and kick it. And I fuck. And not get and, and not, not give no you money. no pussy. Wow. And not get no money. And you was talking about fumbling something <laughs> earlier. <right? laughs> Damn, you, you know what? You be talking like you want to do X, Y, and Z, but you really like kind of soft. Like you don't, you don't step. Yeah, like you talk like, yeah, this and this, I feel like this, but then when it come down to it, Damn. you don't want to step. Like, bro, when you said yeah, like, that she got old, that you didn't fuck with, you really let me down. I'm starting to realize Damn. that, bro. She ain't oh. a hoe. She ain't a hoe even if you didn't fuck, and then she fucks your homie and your other little partner. And didn't fuck that, you. Right. She ain't no hoe. You, that, like, you what might, is it? You might just be hating on that lady. You was just. I'm not hating because she a cool you person. Might, she cool. She might see this shit and be like, hoe, you got me fucked up. You know, you. I don't know. You know, he, he, because he liked her. So I he did. didn't want to make it transactional. I did. He to have to, but, but you have to so understand, if you, you was a teddy bear nigga. The right? only way you was going to get that pussy if you bought it, how would that, does that change how you feel? I ain't never think about this. Let me think about it first right now. Now, now. you understand why I say you don't get no hoes, because you literally don't get no hoes. You had a hoe right there. <laughs> Damn. Now you see what I'm saying? I knew all of this before you said all of this. So he get the hoes, but he don't execute. Oh. Uh, so it's a damn mission. No, nah, this the thing. You give him too much credit. You what? ain't. You ain't get no hoes. You think you know some hoes? Uh, that's a difference. You know uh, some hoes. That's some fucked up. And even the hoes won't. Even, they wouldn't even take your money. They're like I ain't like. <laughs> I don't just be fucking no anybody. <laughs> I done been over here. I've been coming over here the whole summer. No, but girls have their separate niggas. You know what I'm saying? She got the niggas. You can't tell me you ain't never but... pulled up on her after a good night and she was like, man, go and get your little shot of your right. foot. Get your little shot of your foot. You ain't get no head or nothing. And then you can't call her a hoe, bro. That's not fair. How? Because you didn't fuck nothing. You Wait. ain't get nothing. Hold on. There's different niggas for different women like that play their different roles, different parts. You know, Kodak just didn't fit the, the criteria. This of the lady she will to fuck, fuck anyone who has the money. She won't it even fuck money. him though. She let him come through and hang out. They laid up talking. She probably thought about giving him the pussy, but knew she <laughs> that knew he liked her. So didn't give it to him. Cause no. he could have fucked his mind up. That's what laid I'm saying. Up talking. She will sell pussy to a white man. Won't get no pussy, and the nigga laid up. <laughs> I can honestly say this, though. A girl will fuck a nigga that she don't care about for the money before she fuck a nigga that she genuinely cares about. Oh, you saying she actually liked the nigga and she was taking her time? Yeah, like, right. that's Boy, a chance. that's some evil shit that a hoe can right. do. Can you imagine right. she a whole hoe and she want to be your girlfriend? Yeah. Right. That's not the first wait. time I heard that yeah. shit, though. But I'm just saying, like, it, it does happen. A Damn. girl can be... So y'all be liking yeah. niggas, but won't get a nigga that you like some coochie. Yep. I, but the nigga that you don't like... It right. gives me good dick. 
and don't give me no problems, yes. It's an evil world. I mean, I'm just saying. Coochie. Because some, sometimes, you know, you might want to take it slow with the dude you like because you don't want to put it on too fast because you just don't want to enter. Because a lot of times, sex change a lot, you know, a, a person's mental. You could be fucking with somebody, and then you may not even be here mentally. But as soon as you get some, it's like, I understand everything you said, girl. You know what I'm saying? It just switches up a little bit. So a lot of times, women want to take their time with the dude that they like so they can actually genuinely like them mm -hmm. and then put the pussy on them like, ah! and then fuck up his whole life. Like how? And then fuck up his whole life. That's crazy. That's fucking toxic. Why? I'm just, I'm just nah, laying it Now you out. gotta be responsible with your sexual, with your sexual shit though. You don't wanna be out here putting good sex on people who can't handle that shit. Mm-hmm. And you probably yeah. was one of them niggas. This is true. She already knew. If you was already driving this. 45 minutes to come over here, know you ain't getting a, she fuck around and put that pussy on you, you'll never go home. No, I ain't gonna lie, I fucked with this guy before. I fucked with him and he was a really, really good dude. Like, and he and was that just putting money life. on me for no reason. I ain't even asked for none of this. He just was doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. I talked to him for about six, seven months and never gave him none. And he did some crazy shit. One time I was just like, damn, like, I know he know he finna get something after this cause he went crazy. But I just knew in the back of my mind, he doing all this, he liked me and all this. If I get this to him, he's going to fucking lose his mind. So I had to cut that shit off. Like, shit be like that. But you kept the shit. Yeah, all the shit he gave you? It. <laughs> Duh. What? Why would I not? That's crazy. Now, that's just retarded. Now, I didn't ask for it, but, you know. He was just doing it, but that's another reason why I fuck with him, because I feel like he was trying to buy me and shit. Like, I don't like that, like. See, I told you, Kodak. Yeah. I don't like how this just turned into an intervention for Kodak. Well, he, he, needed pussy. He, he needed it. He needed it. He needed, it. needed to hear it. from somebody we had it, older than him. The truth. One day, I'm going to be out. watching this nigga fall in love, and I'm like, Los, I think she the one. I'm like, well, you came so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> Remember when you was a 31-year-old pussy scammer? <laughs> A pussy I, I be liking bitches for a week now. How shit. long? A week. And then what? I fall out of interest real quick. What, what be turning you off so fast? It's a lot of bitches. Picky as fuck. It's a lot of bitches. He's extremely picky. It's not though. In Atlanta? Yes. Okay. Bitches that got a lot going on or bitches? No, no, with no. Fat it's a lot of bitches. It's a lot of bitches. With fat asses. Man, yeah. wait till you get into a room full of women you tried to talk to. You What's gonna happen? You'll see. You mesmerized by the ass. That's crazy. See, that's why bitches are going to get BBLs and fucking dying on the table because. Because, no because ass. of niggas like me. Yeah, exactly. it's said. It's, 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 it's it again. The whole thing. Be, bitches dying on crazy. the table. Yeah. That is crazy. Because of niggas like you. That's fucked up. Watch the motherfucker who had gonna have him fucked up though. Like tripping over over a bitch. She ain't even gonna have no ass. I know it. Might be the go-go bitch. Pancakes. Yeah, you like her. No cakes. Olive oil. This week, nan cake. You gonna see her Friday. <laughs> 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 Life crazy. It is, though. Full circle. Life is like a box of chocolates. Let's do the ass up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. What you think about the Russia shit, Clayton? Man, hey. Oh, hey. I get it. <laughs> I talked to that nigga Poop, man. That nigga, you know, he a real assassin. 
Oh yeah. Randy Griner. Yeah. Why they ain't gonna free get my out? Nigga. Why they free BG? Both of them. <laughs> free both BG. Free both BGs. Why they ain't gonna get hurt? Why the LGBTQ? Why they ain't oh, gonna they get on way? Don't start no shit. But why they ain't right. gonna get her? They on the way? Nah. You in that yeah. conversation, she got, she got in that conversation by yourself. She, they ain't gonna go get her. I'm just saying go get her. She facing 10 I years, bro. 10 in a Russian. Go get her, dog. In a cold For ass this. Russian prison. This, right? Yeah. They about to get your ass too. Put that shit up. No, you can smoke it, man. <laughs> You smoking? Him. You might go get you was in Dubai. That's that's twenty five. This 50. is American soil. She can dunk. NBA is supposed to go get her. No, but real talk. The, if, though, if that was LeBron, they would have gone down. Got, yeah, you he gotta go get LeBron her. LeBron wouldn't have been over there fucking around with them folks. Shit like no, that. No. Why she was? Right, over well, there. If it was Russell Westbrook, they wouldn't want the guy to go get her. Why she was trying to bring it back? The way he been playing lately. Was she trying to bring it back or leave or take it over there? No, she was leaving. They was through playing their season because you know the shit was happening. She was supposed to be the last player out. Oh yeah, that's, I, that's how she got caught. She was leaving. Yeah. Well, her mugshot was on a piece of paper. Oh, they, they had her right hand. She should have left that shit over there and just got some when she got home. That's what you're supposed to do. Was cra- how long that shit last? This? That vape, yeah. This? It depends on the one. See, this one particularly, head ass. Um, she had probably like two weeks. You should have left that shit over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but she probably didn't. Was she going to LA anyway? Um, wherever she was going, she was going to be able to get it. Oh, she was going to smoke them on the flight home. You can't do that. Then you was going to get in even any more, more trouble. You right. Land that know. bitch in, in yeah. Serbia. Yeah, you going to get in even, yeah. Wow. That's I don't know. Crazy. I, I think it's just a fucked up ass situation. No, it's but fucked up, but we, you can't say they're wrong. Black people, we gonna go get her. Black people, we gonna go get her. That's they rules. Amer- okay, but she's American, so can't she just come back to America and deal with the American? No, life? nigga, because no. it didn't happen in America. No, they gotta let her go. And now we at war, so now, now they're we're talking about, about yeah. United Nations and shit. Yeah. So now they gonna try to get us to, to help them go to war type shit? Mm-mm. Nah, I don't think they're gonna do that. But they, it's gonna take a while to get her. You know, no, they don't really, they don't really fuck around too tough with them hostages. now. They gonna make her play Russia. Right. She's gonna play for Russia. She was already playing yeah, she with them to be on their team. She connected over there. Forever. She gonna be fine. Oh, this she's is all. connected over there? Really? Yeah, she's she playing basketball over there. Yeah, but it, but. I didn't know that. But yeah. do Russia, but do Russia yeah, care yeah, about yeah, basketball? Yeah, yeah. They play That's in the offseason and they get paid more money. Russia. Yeah, for so me. They, so got they got a Russian league oh, over so there to pay more coach. money. Bro, w, w, WNBA out. players get paid like teachers in America, bro. They don't be making shit. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying. I was just. That's why she had to go to Russia. Nigga, I never even knew why she was going to Russia. I never even asked that question. Yeah, she was yeah. They playing ball over there. Over. And she was coming back? She was the last one to leave, the last American to leave out of Russia from that's playing oh, basketball. They fucking with her then. Okay. They knew what it was. But well, she yeah. had like 16, so she, she kind of stood out her. over okay. there. Okay, 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 I get it. Yeah, they fucking with her. Damn, I thought she dead ass. I didn't even know the story. That's why that's I That's the thing about it. She been doing this shit. She been over there, so. Right. It ain't never been no problem. She need to that. come home, man. So she, she got the folks for real, for real. Yeah, yeah. Okay, she got okay. child support payments. Right. Uh, yeah, she. I think she gonna be straight though. What? Yeah, she got a kid. Cause Putin fuck with black people. No, we don't want the, the black people right now. It's, it's not, <laughs> black people not worth it. Not hostage material. Not hostage material. Not hostage material. Black people not really want it. No, 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 really no, 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 I see we have one. They say, ah, you keep, you keep. <laughs> He's yours now. <laughs> you keep. <laughs> no, we don't want these problems right now. We just, nah. White woman? Mwah. <laughs> She's so tall. We don't. It's not a... oh, she keeps hitting head this. Who rough. is this man? This Britney man? <laughs> is, is this man in your country? We sit back, yes? <laughs> no problem. She looks Just like don't tall. return. She looks like tall bear. It's Scotty Pippen, right? <laughs> Yes, yeah, she played, she she played with it? Michael Jordan. Ah. Ben Wallace. We have everyone. <laughs> Did <Dennis> Rodney, yes? <laughs> the Russians over there talking big uh. shit. <laughs> dunk. I bet you can't dunk now, bitch. Ah. <laughs> they got her tied up like Michael the Jordan in Space Jam. The motherfucker was back there by herself smoking the pen she got caught with. I see why you like so much. <laughs> 
Det är inte så väldigt god. No, 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 no. I will get this whole thing sorted out. We get you back home. Mr. Where are you going? Utah? Uh, get her home. This man. you on YouTube, yes? <laughs> get her home. Why, 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 why you miss Dunk? Why you miss Dunk? I see what you like. <laughs> Man, we just found out she was locked up. She's been locked up for like three told weeks. How she could have got away? You know, if you take out the package and put in your luggage, this <laughs> thing, right? You know this, right? Yeah, man, free BG, both on. Free everybody. Man, that shit. Free both, both. Free all non-violent offenders. Come Not on. the nigga that killed Michael Jackson. He can stay in there. He been out. He been out. What? He ain't never go in out before he went. Put him back. He served, time served on house arrest. Out here fresh like he ain't did a day. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Bitch! I'm down in New Orleans with my auntie and my granny. <laughs> <laughs> the Queen said, Nigga, you kill Mike! Big family. Hey. Y'all play sweet. Shout out to the Queen, too. She not dead, she alive. Damn, bro. Why you, why you bring that up? Uh, man, that shit crazy. She was out of here for like a weekend. Ooh. You don't know that. Allegedly. That's the thing about it. Allegedly. Oh. Where'd that come from? Where'd that news? Them people. Somebody made it up. Somebody made it up. Niggas just ran with it. Like, that's what I'm saying. But she here. You we seen here. the video? Or yeah, she met with a nigga from Canada, Tradu. Was that old? No. What is your new footage? No. New footage. That's her with that humpback. Quick a little, quick a little eye. Home back. Mama, home her, back. Her, her head down by her titties. I'm saying, how you know that's not old footage? Mm. It could be. We don't know. It could be, what they call it? Deep fake. Deep know. fake. The hologram. She, she been out here for a little minute, too. She old as fuck. She can't let everybody know, like, she passed, like. She, Why? I don't know, I guess because. You got to die, nice. nobody, we, we. Now, if she don't die, then that's a real problem. We, cause you, what the fuck going on with you? Y'all stop speaking on that old ass lady, man. We if, hope you if do she, it, ma'am. If something happened. We didn't speak that. Somebody else spoke that. We just talking about the fact that they spoke that. We trying to figure out why the fuck they spoke that. We trying to get to the root of that shit. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Thank you. Hell. I don't know why they said that shit in the first place. Niggas just made that, said. niggas just made that shit up. You know what, I feel like just making some shit up today. Enter. Nah, some that's somebody gave gave somebody the source and dropped that shit and somebody said, abort mission, abort mission. He said, no, fuck that. My source is right. Mm -hmm. Enter. And she hopped up by <laughs> who, who the fuck said? Who <laughs> 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 who who the fuck? Lie on me again, goddamn. <laughs> Lie again! Who did? Yo. She definitely sounded like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that nigga popped up like a goddamn ghost, like a spectre. Ah, bitch. Ah. <laughs> nah, man. It's the queen, bitch. Man, we watching history That's unfold like right now, man. So much shit going on. Hell oh, yeah. I can't keep up, can't keep track, can't keep the energy. I'll just be chilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to get rich off the stock market. Same. <clears throat> you got rich off you, nigga. I don't want to get rich yeah. off the stock market. You got rich off you. I want to take my little money and flip it in the stocks. That shit cap. I was told my mama that shit last week, bro. All this money shit fake. Money fake. It ain't really. fake. I saw money all the two men of them investing. Money is niggas, fake, man. bro. Nigga they said, some nigga games said this green. Day. Nigga said this green piece of paper. Cost them one dollar, and this green piece of paper cost a hundred dollars. Bro, who said that shit? That shit fake. Nah, they print the hundreds and the ones on the same little shit. It's just a look. They punch it in. Same, same shit. Shit yeah, fake. Who gave it? Who, who gave money a value? The motherfuckers who put it in circulation. That shit fake. You need to make that shit up. Well, Not you back. need it to survive, so. Yeah. Figure it out. Well, okay. give me yours. Hell. No, I'm just playing. Okay. <laughs> I got, not, I got some shit in the car to it. say prop on it. You can have that. Nah, don't be riding around with that shit either. Awesome, boy. I might get that shit out. I seen that shit, boy. What I told happened? you don't do that shit. What happened? A nigga would ride around with some shit. Like, he was flashing that shit. No, I'm just saying, if you fuck around and get pulled over and they search your car, these motherfuckers ain't going to listen and be like, oh, what? Prop money? Oh, that's a penalty? No, I'm just saying. It's, it's up to... 
No, that to the cops' discretion. discretion. That, that, that shit illegal? Bro, anything I, that you got a lot of think... in your car is questionable. And when the police pull you over. I mean, I you can have a trunk like... full of rubber ducks, nigga. They gonna the fuck you doing with all these ducks? <laughs> Who are you? It was just a joke. I was doing a practical joke. It's a prank. You know it's these, a prank. It's a prank. Do you know that these ducks contain motherfucking cellophane? Okay. And you got over 13 pounds of cellophane. <laughs> I can charge you with a felony. That's distribution. You making meth? It's a prank. Exactly. <laughs> nah, for real. That makes all the sense. Damn, I'm gonna get pulled over with a, a large amount of anything. It, it's just gonna make you look more guilty. You gotta change all the got a large amount of chicken wings. Nickels and shit. They were like, you been robbing ATMs? We've been looking for, we got a suspect. What about a large amount of chicken wings? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Nigga, you know how much money that's worth? Especially if they're frozen. The price high now. Oh, I think we got the, the chicken wing burglar over here. <laughs> the chicken wing bandit. Exactly. <laughs> I think we got him. The Captain Chicken Wing, huh? All right, man, I'm trying to just show you. You don't want to get pulled over with no large amounts of nothing. I feel that. Yeah. Fuck these folks. How you feel? Hell yeah. You really, you really just want to slide on through and get the fuck home. Mm-hmm. You know, play it real, real safe. Super safe. In every way. Super safe. I mean, let them know where they can find y'all on the radio and the website and social media and all that shit. Oh, a uh, good speaker. Oh, hit us. Yeah, so <laughs> we on air every Monday through Thursday in Atlanta, 105.3 to beat. Um, <laughs> Not the beat! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 7 p.m. to midnight, so tune in uh, at the BATL, at the JoJo and Big Homie Show. My Instagram is underscore Jojo Alonzo and Big Homie Kodak, Big Homie Kodak with a Q at the end, not a K. Big Homie Kodak with a Q at the end. What you be talking about on there? Everything. On my Instagram? Yeah. Shit, man. This shit I this shit that I see, man. I seen a nigga who car like you know how niggas be having their cars wrapped and shit? This nigga shit was completely rusted. He had like a like a fucking SUV. That shit was completely Rusted. I seen that shit on the high. We've seen all type of shit in Atlanta. But I like, damn, what the fuck is this? So really, that be should I be seeing or, sh- or should I be eating or me smoking hookah? Yeah, man, let me clear this up. I don't want everybody to think you out here just tricking off, but you are. I'm not. Okay. Cause I'm not tricking off. He's not tricking off. He wants to trick. He has aspirations. I need somebody who hey, I like to trick off on. There you go. Well, they gonna hit if you, you up. Leave it at that. To be tricked. Nah, cause I'm a, I'm a, Mike I'm a player still. Until I, until we like each other the same amount. You crazy? You know how good a finesse game? You just put a little finesse. I hey man, if you gonna waste, if you gonna waste your time finessing me, all right, because you're you not gonna take it. You, you not, make a nigga think you. You're love not getting shit. Yeah, you can make a nigga think you love him. Cool. If you gonna, if you gonna put the man hours it takes to get something out of me. Cause I mean, not, you cause, was really laying up with a hole that you didn't hit, bro. I, I mean, I ain't do shit. I ain't do shit for. Her. Only thing I lost was time. That's a lot. That's the most valuable thing right. that you have. That's all we have. You're right. <laughs> and I'm Burger judging around. you for it. Hey, man. We all lost time. We all lose time. We mess with women. I'm judging you for it. Not doing it. nothing for us. But you, know it is, but you live and you learn. No, you don't. Not in this case. You're just living at this point. You ain't learning shit. That was a long time ago, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like pre-pandemic. Oh, and that's not too Oh, long. that's the worst time to be out here that's trying to learn long. something. I'm thinking yeah, we didn't have no time. Like, I'm yeah, because you need to be focused more on living than you out here trying to learn. Oh, yeah, we were definitely not mashing up either. Yeah, learn. Damn. Yeah, Shout out to that lady, whoever she is, bro. She was just mesmerized by her. She talked she to a valuable lesson. Yeah, she, she had I just ass. hate that you're not, you not receiving it yet. She had a fat ass booty. I appreciate all the time we spent together. For real? But they just picky and he expect a lot and he's selfish, so it's just hard to do. That shit ain't gonna never work out. He gotta, he gotta come to a. We'll see. I, I'm, I'm just saying, one day you gonna be that nigga. I feel it. He what is nigga? that nigga. That nigga. That nigga. That nigga? I, I, yeah, I am that nigga. Yeah, that, I'm sure. saying that nigga that yeah. like, all this shit gonna be that came full circle. Mm. You gonna end up being a nigga pulling up in the van, being a great dad and shit. I'm not gonna have a like, man. Don't be bringing up the pad, man. I'm not. I would come back on the show, man. Y'all you? be cussing and stuff, man. I got my kid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that's the goal, man, for sure. I definitely wanna have a kid in like a year or two, for sure. Just have a kid. No wife, just have a kid. Um, 
Hopefully wife come with it, but you hopefully know. a wife come with it. Yeah. That's mm. how I go now. See see Kodak. We might just have to take you out because you just making the black man coalition look so reckless out here. I'm <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna have to jump you off camera or what, but man, you really, yeah, you, you really up, came through here and smutted up. Court, get him! Man, man. <laughs> you just, you just on command. You just ready to just. That's the, that's the, say some shit. That yeah. Ain't got nothing to do with nothing. No, nah, this Kodak. Kodak is not, oh, God, for sure. Kodak is not a victim on this. <laughs> yeah, I don't like how y'all target. No. He told me to get shot, so I got shot. You did the best that you could. Hey man, shout, hey, that's a shout out to the interns too. Uh, that's Court, Envia, Nevaeh. They over. Nevaeh's still over there. I don't see her. She gone. All right, yeah. Nevea, Nevea. Kodak got all the interns, man. Nah, we got that's... an intern with some Kanye boots on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost in the world. Don't do Kanye. <laughs> but nah, nah. We gotta get we, us some interns, we definitely man. Y'all flexing on us. We definitely big on giving back, cause shit, I feel like a nigga gave me an opportunity, and somebody, somebody, somewhere down the line, somebody gave JoJo an opportunity, so I feel like that's the most, that's the most thing we can do actively and passively, like, you know, just put, just put people in the position, even if they're not doing shit, just put people in the room well, to teach goddamn, them how to do it. teach them how to do it, cause somebody had to teach us, and I would rather them learn when they 19, 20 than they, when they 23, 24, 25, mm -hmm. you know, shit, everybody that come with us coming coming in with experience like we got people who interviewed Lotto people that interviewed uh Th Young Thug, Thug. Um, who you talking Benny the Butcher so I'm all these people are experienced in what they're trying to do so when the time when when we do when it's, it is time for the, the next young wave of media personalities shit they can come from the homies because we don't care we don't care about giving our in, uh, opportunities here mm -hmm. that's, yeah, the, yeah. That, that's the easiest thing we can do That's what's up. Shout out to all the interns out there. Where y'all go to school at? Clayton State. Clayton State. Clark. No. Big Clark Atlanta. Nice. Big Clark. Big Clark Atlanta. I heard that, That's man. Sure. Happy International Women's Day to all the women. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The ladies in the place with shout out grace, grace that don't have no furniture in their place. <laughs> hey, I celebrate them every day. Your furniture's yeah. sitting on the floor. Boy. You got furniture? I got furniture. Options. I got furniture. You got a recliner? No. Nah. No recliner? Nah. All right, I'll let you slide. I don't I'll let need you a slide. recliner. This is my house. You got an ottoman? I'm just saying. I don't need a recliner. I just was asking. I got an air fryer, though. OK. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. You don't be putting no season on this shit, huh? He tried to fuck at you that time. Just air. <laughs> air. J-O-N, what's up, oh, man? Yes, what you got coming up? Oh shit. That was nice. Okay. Clayton, anything? Man, watch me on Roku. Oh. All right, this, this Joker, Will Smith. Yeah. Go watch it. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Man, why you let Hawkeye do you like that, bro? Hey, it was it was dope. It was hey, dope. Hopefully I hard. come back around. Appreciate that shit was it. Thank hard, you, bro. bro. Thank you, fam. Appreciate Kodak, it. Drop the social media watch again. That. Hey man, at Big Homie Kodak at the JoJo and Big Homie Show. You find you find all our shit on um the beat ATL. Check us out. We just had an interview with Kodak Black with triple viral, triple, triple platinum on that motherfucker. Y'all had Yak on that bitch? Yak, man. Yak. So shout out to Big Homie Kodak Black. Uh, you got the prom coming up. JoJo gonna be Kodak date. You going to the prom with Kodak? Allegedly. <laughs> JoJo, you going to the prom with man, Kodak? He asked me that shit on air. And you said yeah? I ain't say I ain't say yeah. Roll the tape. What are you saying? I said, oh yeah, my prom wasn't even all that. That's what I said. Nah, we gonna we we'll look at the tape. What prom? Man, Kodak and asked you to. The person the... can't, you know, like if we was in court, they cannot like incriminate me, like like. She like said that. yes. You know what that's how she said up, yes. Though? What prom? He got a little. He got a prom. He got. He having a little prom event in Atlanta. Cause he said he ain't go to prom. So it's gonna be a prom for adults. I guess. He might follow up. Right. He was dead ass serious. Oh, uh, don't look like you regret it now. You wouldn't go to the prom with Kodak? It's too many cameras in for me to even say anything. You right. You right. Like. Don't answer that. Yeah, it could be whatever I say. It don't yeah. even matter. I don't, don't want nobody to know what I want to say. They already made their mind up anyway. Exactly. Fuck it. 
She know good and damn well she going with that. She going with Kodak. I don't she know why. Why she got all her money? Like she looks like she get niggas for money anyway. Head ass. Damn. <laughs> and do. Niggas gotta have some money out here. I she thought says. maybe you just had a rough prom. It was like I'm never reliving. Yeah. Me? Yeah. She went to prom in Chicago. No, I didn't. I in went Memphis? To prom in Memphis. And um, I actually went with a white guy. Damn. You found and the only we were, white nigga we in Memphis? Friends. Wow. And we were friends. Wow. And it was only because Did he get some the guy that night? who I was dealing with, um, he was playing basketball in college, and he um, he was had a tournament. What year of college? Don't worry about it. Senior. Damn, we was I'm doing sorry. good. He just. Do you want me to name drop? Mm -hmm. I didn't ask for all that. I just said, how old your nigga was that you was dealing with in college? Oh, he was a year older than me. We can't end right there. We got not on the white guy. <laughs> black history. No, it's not black well, history. Delete this. Black. No, it's black. <laughs> Yo, no. what? Damn, we're going to gonna get all the way to the end and you're going to tell us about how you cheated on a black man with a white man. Damn. Mm -hmm. Fuck, JoJo. We was doing so good. We was doing so good. It was fine as hell, too. Damn, you going to double down? Just saying, he was my friend. We weren't together. Damn. I just didn't want to go alone. You out here with been. Zach Gowan and shit. No, he was fine though. His name was Spencer. That's crazy. He was fine as fuck. You just gonna keep talking about how fine this white man was. I'm just saying. My dude at the time couldn't go because he had a tournament, a basketball tournament. He was the number one fucking player for the team. And so I was gonna be going alone. So instead of going alone, I went with my friend who was white. The fuck? Your ancestors are We gotta have frowning. a whole intervention for you two. <laughs> gotta come back. We can't sit here and judge Kodak for buying pussy in there. Whatever. Y'all can't too, get It's too much work to be done for y'all two. Y'all a match made. In hell. In hell. <laughs> <laughs> Man, make sure you check them out. Big homie Kodak. JoJo. Clay English. J-O-N. 85 South Show. We out this bitch. Yeah. Yeah.